first quarter from VFL Park at the 84 preliminary final as umpire Rowan Soares comes in to bounce the ball. A huge crowd in attendance this afternoon. Knocked down by Derek Shaw. No one getting clear in the centre and umpire Peter Cameron has decided once again to ball it up. This time only a couple of metres outside the circle itself. Not a bad bounce, so that ground is in pretty good condition. Shaw again gets the tap down. Clark can't get clear. He's playing game number 100 this afternoon for Essendon. And again, we'll see a ball up. No progress made in the first minute of play, virtually. Umpire has found a free kick to Essendon. It'll be going to Matt. Matt will take the first free kick of the game. About five metres behind the centre circle. He's gone for a hand pass and the ball is swinging to attack through Neagle. Neagle up towards half forward. Merrick comes out from full forward. Can't complete the mark. Ezard grabbed a little bit too high for mine. Umpire says play on. He did award him the free kick. Ezard's gone for a pass. Oh, Phillips overruns the ball. The chance is for Brown though. Ben the hard hot of his hammer. Brown, the hand pass on the Tony Shaw. Shaw chips it around the boundary line and that's okay. The mark is taken by Mullane. Mullane onto Abernathy at right centre wing. Long hand pass again, Shaw, that's Neville Shaw, caught with the ball, the umpire says play on, Bradbury, Wizard, the lane's tackle was late, will it be downfield, Van der Haar takes the mark anyway, so it won't matter, didn't agree with that free kick though, Van der Haar short pass, looking good, Danaher and he's found him. Danaher taking the mark at left half forward flank, the Essendon skipper, he too has gone for a pass, and that's OK, the mark is taken by Van der Haar, no it's not, it's a play on call. Sure, it was McKeown, he played a great game here last week, Toomey's kick is a high one towards centre wing, and Neville Shaw getting underneath the ball and taking the grab for Collingwood. Shaw on right centre wing to put the Magpies into attack. The ball knocked away by Walsh, he's playing game number 50, gets it away from Banks and we'll see a boundary throw in on centre wing. Heard has got the job of Dacos. Ball out of bounds on that uh, centre wing position. Banks in the front posse, Madden gets over the top of him, tocks the ball out. Oh, uh, Williams cop one a bit high, but the umpire said play on, and the ball is on the boundary line, a wrestle going on there, but the umpire will ball it up out there on the centre wing position. We've been going just on two and a half minutes. Yeah, interesting move, Lou. Tony Shaw going everywhere Watson goes. Oh, there's nearly one on the back that time to Banks. Another stack up, very scrambly play. And of course, I think we mentioned before, this ground is in excellent condition, considering we've had so much rain. Curator and the VFL should be very proud of VFL Park. Ball up again, knocked out by Madden. He's dominated the ruck. Williams has caught again. I thought he might have been pushed in the back, and the umpire said yes. So Williams takes the free kick out there on the centre wing position for Essendon. The ball over their half forward line. At the back is Shaw, goes the punch. It's a good one out to Brown. Finally over to Ricky Barham. He was neglected last week. They dropped him out the side. Out comes to uh, Gary Shaw. Taps the ball on his grip. Umpire saw that one. It'll be a free kick to Gary Shaw. And he's limping badly. They can afford to lose him because they've already lost range before the game started. A hand pass coming over to McEwen. Well out of his position from full bar. Back pocket. Up there towards Dacos. He's got them. Now it's not to Andrews. Well played, Andrews. Good use of the body, Bob. My yes, word it was. His opponent, uh, Paul Weston, had, uh, had to leave Andrews and come right up the ground. And uh, Weston foolishly went out and got the ball and returned the ball to Gary Shaw when he should have been back picking up his man. Now it's Andrews coming in for a chance for Collingwood's first score. Andrews not very far out from goal, lines them up and it's a goal against his old team and that would certainly give him plenty of confidence Bob the score calling with one goal six points to Eston one pointer and it'll get the score yes well it's amazing Lou even the experienced players uh, Paul Weston's been around for a lot of years we watch on replay from the other angle Andrews using his body well and there's Shane Hurd uh, having to be uh, down on Andrews whilst uh, Weston was up the ground actually returning the ball to a Collingwood opponent that certainly should give Andrews a lot of confidence Pete playing against his old team and uh, the last time he did that he didn't go so well but he may make amends today but that's a great start for him. Collingwood lead by six points at the four and a half minute mark of the first quarter in the 84 preliminary final back into the centre Derek Shaw contesting with Madden it's won by the Essendon Ruckman who is certain to pole well on the brown low on Monday the hand pass comes out to uh, Barham on centre wing another bad hand pass gives a chance to Baker watch it Williams Williams from half forward Looks for Van der Haar. Phillips is right there with him. He's wearing him like a glove at the moment. Picked up by Brown. 
Short pass up the centre wing, knocked away by Ross. Brown's there again, gets Scragg, dives on the ball. Bad hand pass, Vanderhaar's there, gets it out in turn to Walsh. A wobbly old punt kick could be OK. Watson gets around Shaw, has he got him? No, he hasn't. Long hand pass, Baker's a great shot at goal. 35 metres out, shoots and puts it through. Scores level at BFL Park, six points each of two at the five minute mark. That's a lovely goal by Leon Baker. He doesn't need many opportunities to put the ball to him. As you watch on replay, Jimmy Watson, the hand pass over the top. Baker coming down the ground from the centre. And uh, maybe on that occasion, although um, Baker has lined up on the forward line. He's not in the centre. Nearly six minutes gone in the quarter. One goal apiece. Madden and Derek Shaw. Williams. High kick to half forward. McEwen underneath it. Oh, good defence by the young Collingwood backman. Off the ground by Watson. Taylor and Baker holding the ball, says the umpire. Sudden death. And Baker to take the free kick at half forward. He's about 45 to 50 metres out from goal. There's the kick on its way. It's a short one. McEwen in the front posse. Into his back was Ezard. It'll be a free kick to McEwen. 15 metres. And this young boy, 17 years of age. This is his sixth game for the year, and of course he's made a great impression with Collingwood. Down there in the back pocket position, scores dead level, a goal apiece. In front is, uh, well it's knocked out to uh, Richardson, breaks clear of the pack. Up towards Bank, but there's a good mark to Walsh. He's developed into a fine centre half back, this fellow. The kick is a high one, back towards the centre of the ground. Punched out by Toomey. The ball hits the deck. There's Foles going after it. Right on the edge of the square. Goes for a pass out wide. It bounces in front of Madden. It bounces the right way. He actually got that out to Neagle very quick. And he shows a lot of pace. As he comes around that half forward line. Another hand pass to Van der Haar. The flying Dutchman fires at the goal. And it's good. It's a goal. So the Bombers are now two goals. 12 points. To Collingwood, one goal, six points. Great yep. play on the part of Madden that time. Yes, but uh, how how the Collingwood defence could allow Nagel just to come down. We saw Phillips standing flat-footed. Yeah, he didn't move up. Did not run at him at all. And uh, I hope Sam Newman's watching that one. Well, there we go. Seven and a half minutes gone. The Bombers are at 12 points. The Collingwood, six. The centre bounce. It'll be Derek Shaw against Madden. Madden's won most of them so far. That was a bad bounce. It comes out now to Mullane. A quick hand pass over there to Shaw. That's Timmy Watson's shadow today. Dacos and the herd gave her that one. The umpire called plan as Dacos goes down. Picked up by Duckworth. Over it goes now to Hurd out there in the centre wing position looking for a lead. He finds uh, Williams with a hand pass back again to Hurd. They're messing about. He's taken too long. There's a chance now. The umpire said it'll be a free kick and the free kick to go to Collingwood. Ran too far was the decision there. Dacos' short pass up the centre wing. Mullane seemingly on the wrong foot up towards half forward. Plenty of weight being used out there. Derek Shaw copped one and gave one back. So that was 50-50. And we'll see a ball up on the point of the square. Eight and a half minutes gone in the first quarter. A rather fiery opening. Both teams desperate for success. Madden taps it down again, picked up by Neagle, so he's starting off where he left off last week. Tony Shaw, good mark. Shaw also in fine form at the moment. McEwen in trouble. Back to Tony Shaw, that gained little if anything. Shaw's kick up towards left half forward. Mark should have been taken out there by Shaw. And a chance for Folds. A short pass to Watson. Right half forward, the boundary line is too close. And we'll see a boundary throw in at right half forward flank for Essendon. It's a bad miss by Gary Shaw. He should have taken that mark. Boundary throw in right half forward. Nine minutes gone on the first term. Van der Haar taps it over the back, trying to find a rover in Ezard. Not successful. Collingwood player grab. We're not in possession for mine, but umpire Rowan Saw says no. And it will be a bounce. Still at centre half forward for Essendon. Essendon lead by six points. 12 to six. Derek Shaw getting the front position. Trying to get it down to Toomey, who was grabbed when not in possession. And the Collingwood halfback flanker will take a free kick in that position. It's a free kick there to Toomey. Boots the ball across there to McEwen. Got the mark. On the scene late was that time was the big fella Merritt. Could be a 15-metre penalty. It is. This brings him up nearly to the centre of the ground, so he should go for the long kick and try and get it up there to Andrews or Dacos or Richardson. Got another one. 15. That's 30 metres. 
So uh, the young fella's got a chance to lob this in the goal skirt. It's a long kick. Madden at the back goes the punts. There's a chance now for Dacos. Chipping in is Richardson. A snap at goal, but it won't come around enough. It'll be through, I think, for one point. Yes, one point to Collingwood. And that's the first point of the game. One goal, one seven points. Collingwood to uh, Eston, two goals, 12 points. The ball back into play again. Madden couldn't grab that one. We see Hurd going for a wild hand pass. It'll be OK. It's grabbed by Hawker. Another one coming over to Neagle. Neagle shoots the ball out there looking for Danaher. Right on his tail is Toomey. It beats them both and the ball is out of bounds. It's out of bounds on the centre wing position. Up towards the, the bomber half forward line. It's Essendon 12 points to Collingwood 7 points. Into this quarter by just on 11 minutes. Knocked out by Shaw. Picked up by Mullane. Mullane's kick is well smothered. A good smother that time by Hawker. And the ball still out of bounds on the centre wing position. Well, this game's got off to a crackerjack pace. Hawker in the centre, Lou. Uh, going everywhere Abernathy goes. Baker on the forward line. And, of course, uh, Tony Shaw's got the job of tagging uh, Timmy Watson. The ball falls short. Down goes uh, Phillips. He was grabbed by Merritt. The umpire spotted that. And uh, Phillips will take the free kick out there at half-back. Goes for a pass to Gary Shaw. He could drop oh. that one. the second one. He's dropped. There's a chance now for the ball to come out from Williams. A hand pass coming over to Clark. It's a beautiful pass by Clark and a great mark taken there by Vanderhaar. Down it goes towards the full forward position. Knocked out this time by Phillips. He backs up the good work right on the boundary line. And look, uh, yes, he's taken the ball away from the danger zone with a beautiful pass. Mark taken by Taylor, the acting captain for Collingwood this afternoon. He's gone wide and the mark is again taken out there by Derek Shaw from the point of the square. That is a really high kick to half forward. Heard with the knock away. Dacos is there, picked up by Walsh. He fires out the hand pass to Neagle, who's probably had more possessions than anyone else so far. Bradbury, Van der Haar, doing well down there so far. Could be dangerous for Collingwood. Well, he's certainly shaping up as a danger player, Pete. Yes, he is. Lead being made by their skipper, Danaher. Almost a mark. Here's Baker for goal number two. Couldn't miss it from there, and he has it. Two goals to Baker, and Essendon and Light in the first turn. There's a lovely piece of roving by uh, Leon Baker. Saw that uh, Collingwood would have to bring the ball to ground. And on replay now, we see as McCormack went for the mark, maybe he should have just punched it clear. And uh, Baker, after McCormack, couldn't quite take it. Baker read it beautifully. And as we said before, he doesn't need many opportunities. It's a lovely kick. Nearly 13 minutes gone in the first quarter. Essendon lead by 11 points. They get it out of the centre again. The umpire blew the whistle there, but he didn't call play on as Hawker drives them forward once more. Taylor in front. Actually, probably could have been spoiled by his own teammate. Baker for goal number three. 30 metres out. Bang, there it is. And Baker is a light VFL Park. 24 plays seven at VFL Park and Collingwood getting a football lesson at the moment. Certainly are, Pete. There's the centre bounce again. Knocked out by Madden. Pushed back again to Watson. He can't pick this one up as he goes down. Now he's got a chance to break clear. Collingwood playing very loose footballs. It goes up there to Phillips. Collingwood flying for the marks in defence, but backing up well this time. We see Mullane drive the ball out wide. There's a chance for uh, Tony Shaw and he takes the mark on the centre wing position. A hand pass over to Ricky Barrow. Another one coming back to Richardson, but he's in trouble. He's grabbed on the boundary line. Shrugged his opponent off. Over it goes now to Banks. A hurried kick up there towards Ronnie Andrews coming across to lead it. But uh, didn't go out far enough and the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds about 25 metres around from the Collingwood goal. They badly need one at the moment. Timmy off the ground. Collingwood trailing by 17 points. To replace Timmy will be Morewood. Andrews in front. Getting the front position that time was Madden. The ball knocked on further via free kick to Clark. I know it to Hurd. The one on the head that time. And Hurd will take the free kick down there in the back pocket uh, for uh, short pass. Finally it goes over now to Clark. Another hand pass coming out to Weston. Eston look very good. They're looking like a class side. And finally Bradbury streaks away from Mullane. But Mullane won't give in. He's after him. Finally he's pushed in the back. It'll be a free kick down the field. Silly play on the part of Collingwood. He's not too happy about that. It's driven down there towards the full forward position. Vanderhaar only got a one-hander. That's to be, be brought back, Luke. No. But he's calling it back for Vanderhaar to have the kick again. Not that it'll be uh, Williams to have the kick again. And golly, uh, they're looking good now, the Bombers. 
Collingwood started off all right for the first five minutes, but they've fallen a bit of a hole in the last quarter of an hour. Short pass, it's a good one and a mark there by Danaher. And Danaher with the ball out there about uh, 30 metres out from goal. On a bit of an angle. But uh, the distance won't trouble him. I think he usually a pretty accurate kick for goal. There it is on its way. And that's another goal. Tommy Wobbles have set in, I think. Well, it's a bit early yet to say that, Pete, but still it's a great start for Reston. Five goals straight, 30 points to Collingwood. One goal, one seven points. Lou, I wonder what um, you know, what uh, Toomey had done wrong to that stage. You know, we see Dan Danaher, and uh, Danaher certainly hadn't been uh, a, a damaging player before that, so uh, whether or not he was injured, I just can't understand the move if he wasn't injured. 23 points the difference in favour of Essendon. Collingwood going down the gurgler at a great rate of knots at the moment as the ball gets driven up towards their half-forward line. They haven't been into attack much so far. McMullen picks it up on centre wing, tries to get clear, does so. Wide out towards half-forward. Walsh goes to spoil effectively. Picked up by Banks. He gets one in the back. The umpire says no free kick. Play on, which he does and does well. Gets around Ezard, but only just in goes Hawker. Bomber defence working well. Clark. Clark a short pass up the centre wing. Bradbury on his own. Still pretty slippery out there. Good tackle by Morwood, but he shrugs it ultimately. Bradbury a short pass up towards half four. Trying to find Watson. Tony Shaw is there with him. Baker again. He kicked three goals. He could just about make it four. No, he's gone for a pass. And a gem it was too. Vandahar. Four marks to Vandahar. Wonderful play by Vandahar in the first place. He, he knocked the ball out of Tony Shaw's hands to enable uh, Baker to get the ball. And then Vandahar continued on down the ground to give Baker something to kick to. Well, five goals to one. The preliminary final could be just about over. And we've only been playing 18 minutes. He's missed it. And through for one point. Essendon first behind of the match. 5-1 to 1-1. A difference of four goals at the 17 and a half minute mark of the first term. Well, Peter... Calling with our kicking with the breeze, Lou. It would certainly give uh, the Bombers a great deal of confidence. The ball goes back into play again. Falls a bit short. Oh, Vanderhaar, what a mark. Oh, he's on fire today. That's his fifth uh, mark for the match so far. Goes the ball up there towards the full forward position. In comes Watson. Just about knocked Merritt out that time. Little Lazard falls on top of the ball. Collingwood players not doing much damage at the moment as it finally comes out to Derek Shaw. A hurried kick over the half-back line. And finally the ball hits the deck. Coming in to meet it now is McMullen. There's a chance now for Ricky Baum. A quick hand pass. Tapped on that time by Banks. Over to Neville Shaw. Back to Banks again. It was a shocking hand pass. Collingwood making a lot of mistakes. As it comes out to Hawker. There's plenty of bombers scouting out there. Doing it well. Out to Danaher. Punched away by Morwood. Good play. As he backs up well. Goes for a pass. Out wide to Neville Shaw. After him is uh, Hawker. Hooks the ball back to Barham. It's only got a bounce right. He straightens up. Runs for the goals now fires and the kick hit the post so the magpies not having much luck in this first 18 minutes of play well, Ricky Barnes should have just tapped the ball over the top uh, to uh, Gary Shaw in the goal square there a nice little neat pass would have been just the play 31 plays 8 in favour of the Bombers out it goes now to foul but it beats him and the ball is out of bounds it'll be a throw in about 55 metres around from the Collingwood goal and boy, are they doing it hard. One goal, two to five goals, one. And of course, Baker's kicked three of those five for Essendon. Bit of fumbling going on. Backing up well at this time is McMullen on the boundary line. Can't get clear. Finally gets a hurried kick across to the woods. Uh, the full forward position picked up by Weston. But always is an Eston player scouting out as Neagle takes that one. Drives it out towards Watson. Punched away by Shaw. He's doing a pretty good job on Watson. Picked up by Mullane. A chance now for Collingwood to swing back into attack. A short pass. It's a bad one. Oh, and Williams got one there from Banks, but it's OK. And Banks has got the mark there towards the halfback flank position. Gets a 15 metre penalty. He got up pretty quick so he seems to be okay. Williams a pass to Danaher. Fourth mark to Danaher and away go Essendon again. This time it's Neagle. No one tackling. Too he, far. he ran too far. Well that's the only way they would have uh, lost the ball Essendon there I think. They look terribly slow at the moment. Collingwood Bob don't they? They, they do Lou but I, I don't know about you uh Asking Tony, I know Tony Shaw did a wonderful job of tagging Wayne Johnson at one stage, but he's been the most prolific kick winner and ball winner in the Collingwood side. Now they're, they're using what I term an attacking player in a def 
defensive role. This guy's not doing too bad, Mullane. He gets it out to Gary Shaw. Shaw goes for the long kick up to Dacos, who we haven't seen much of so far. The ball will beat Weston, I think, and Andrews. Now it won't over the line. Picked up by Hurd. And Essendon making Collingwood look pretty silly at the moment. As Dacos goes down, the umpire still calls play on. So it should have been a free kick to Dacos, Pete. Picked up out there by Thompson. Vandahar in front. Loses that one out. Can't mark it. He's taken five already. They still get his kick in. Wobbles it up towards Watson. Shaw, well done. Shaw from centre field. A short pass. Tried to find his brother and he kept that away from his opponent. Well, he'll get a free kick for a trip. Collingwood supporters haven't had much to cheer about so far because Essendon have really taken them apart. And Derek, not Derek Shaw, but Neville Shaw at half forward. Duckworth uh, standing on the mark. Andrews again, mark number two, almost in the same spot, Lou. Certainly is, Pete. Uh, if ever Collingwood need a goal, this is the one Andrews has got to kick him to give him a bit of a boost again, Bob. So this week, Pete, they, you know, although the wind looks by the flag as though it has dropped a bit, uh, it's at least a two-goal uh, lead as we watch on replay. And uh, Andrews, chance for his second goal. From 20 to 25 metres out. Andrews... Two goals to the former Bonner. Collingwood's only two goals of the quarter. Essendon 5-1, Collingwood 2-2 at the 22-minute mark. Considering that the Bombers have had so much of the play, that lead is not so great of 17 points at this particular stage of the match at the 20, what, just on the 22-minute mark, Bob. No, Essendon have had uh, most of the play, and uh, let's, I repeat again, Lou, uh, they are king against the Breeze. 22 minutes gone in the quarter, 31 plays 14 in the 84 preliminary final. Essendon, Thompson goes for the hand pass and turn it comes back to Madden for Neagle. Madden with that awkward left foot uh, style, tries to find Van der Haar. Izzard rows it well. Merritt does a beautiful shepherd. Izzard puts it high, trying to find Baker and he's already kicked three goals as it tails on him now. Watson went past, couldn't take the ball. Good tackle by Hawker. It rebounds to Tony Shaw. And Shaw goes for a short pass to Gary Shaw. He grabbed that one. He's dropped two out towards Banks. Banks and uh, uh, Walsh having a great battle. It's Walsh coming away with the ball. A hand pass out there to Foles on the centre wing position. Got plenty of time to go for a pass and a good mark to Danaher. Phillips on the scene a bit late, but the umpire said that's OK. There was not much he could do about that one. Got a 15-metre penalty against him. Short pass. It's OK, and the mark going there to Williams. Essendon Smallman are ripping Collingwood apart at the moment. There's the kick on its way. Up there towards full forward. Big merits there in front. Tap that one on, looking for Watson. Drags the ball in front of him as a snapshot, but it's smothered that time by uh, Moore. With picked up by Taylor. This is dangerous. Coming out to Brown. He grabs that down there in the back pocket. Another long hand pass. Over to Abbott. I think this is about his first or second touch. First. Uh, the ball goes out now to Neville Shaw. Punched away by Duckworth. Grabbed by uh, Walsh. He's grabbed, throwing the ball. That'll be a free kick to Collingwood. And the goal here will put them back in business again. Waiting on uh, Barham to go for a short pass. It'll be OK. And Banks has got the mark about 50 metres out from goal. There's loose play by Essendon there with Walsh on the mark. Somebody else should have picked up Banks. There's the kick. A chance here now for McMullen to mark. He, oh, he dropped an easy one. Oh, what a chance. It was the chance of a lifetime to make the difference. Only 11 points. Oh, the young fella dropped that. And he's marked so many great ones the last couple of weeks. Ball back into play by Weston. It's two Eston players on their own. Collingwood being a little bit neglectful there, letting him get out there as we see Thompson pick the ball up there towards the centre wing position. Drive it across to Vanderhaar. He flies. That's another mark. That's six for the quarter. He flattened to Abernathy that time. He got in his wake as the ball is finally shot down there towards that half forward. And this time Watson's away from Shaw and takes the mark out there at half back. Half forward, I should say. Short pass. It'll be OK. And there we see Baker. He's been he and uh, Van der Haar been the two star forwards and Baker's already kicked uh, three goals. Falls off Harvey on. Had a big chance to kick his fourth because he's only about 45 metres out directly in front. There it is on its way. It's a long kick. It won't quite make the distance. In front is Morwood and takes a good mark in defence for the Magpies. And gets a little bit of attention and will also get a 15 metre penalty. Shane Morwood, which will bring him up from right back pocket. He'll go towards the outer side. Two on one out there in favour of Essendon, so they win out predictably. Picked up by Danaher, he gives it over to Nagel, who's also been damaging in the opening term. Eight possessions so far to Nagel, he's gone for a pass and that's OK. Essendon running rings around Collingwood at the moment. Van der Haar lobs it at goal and has put it through, I think. Yes, he has, it's a goal. 
one thirty-seven to two three fifteen. Ten possessions to Paul van der Haar, Bob. Yes, and uh, I think as we said last week, we could not understand van der Haar being on the interchange bench. He must be out there on the ground, and uh, it's evident that the start he has he's given, the lift he has given to the Essendon side, but Collingwood applying very little pressure. We're playing time on now in the first term. 26 minutes gone, 37 players 50. There's a chance for Rabanath. He's grabbed. Oh, well tackled that time by Harvey. A hand pass from Phillips, but he's grabbed. They, they look a bit slow to me. Collingwood, we see the ball driven up there by Hawker. Back into attack. Baker coming in. He's got the mark again. He's already kicked three. A quick hand pass. It's a ripper. There's Watson running to an open goal. And he's put it through for another one. That's his first. And of course, the Bombers looking at a million dollars. Seven goals, 143 to Collingwood, 2 3 15. Oh, are they running hot now? And uh, the Collingwood defence looking very ragged. And, uh, and as you called it, Lou, looking very slow. Uh, they're just not there. And uh, I think. Uh, you know, some of the Collingwood players uh, do not even know the word de defence, and yet, uh, even though Tony Shaw has picked up a lot of kicks on Watson, I would have him on the ball. 28 points the difference, 26 and three quarter minutes gone. Centre bounce again. There's Madden dominating the centre bounces. Oh, Mullane's grabbed too high and will take the free kick. He's played a fair game up to this stage of the match. This is his ninth possession. Waiting on Mullane to go for the uh, half forward line. It's a short pass and marked here by Derek Shaw. Shaw's kick is a long one up there towards Andrews and Weston. Andrews at the back. Got into the back of Weston. The ball hits the deck. Finally picked up by Hurd. Out it comes towards Ricky Barn. That's a great falling mark by uh, the racehorse out there at half forward. A good uh, oh, about 45 metres out from goal. And boy, do the Magpies need a goal here. Short pass. It'll be OK. And Banks has got it. About 35 metres out from goal on a bit of an angle. Barron's got something to prove today, Louis. I understand he was very critical of the Collingwood selectors leaving him out last week. There's the kick. Not coming around enough. Actually doesn't make the distance. Flying high as McMullen. He may have paid the mark. Yes, he's got it. But this is a very difficult shot. He's right on the boundary line, right against the point post. The umpire bringing him around. Just on the 28-minute mark of this first quarter. And it's 43 plays, 15. The Bombers off to a sensational start. He runs around, fires at the goals, and what's the result? One point. So it's certainly not the Magpies' day today. Seven goals, one plays, two goals, four in favour of the Bombers. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Well, I'm just saying you couldn't uh, believe that that is the same defence that played the last two weeks because it was so tight, Bob. Yes, but then uh, in some sort of... Uh defence of that uh, group of players you're talking about, Lou, uh, the ball coming out of that, away from the packs the Essendon small men, is another example, Heard all on his own, Dacos not picking him up at all. There's a short pass and Harvey's got the ball at centre field ready to send them back into attack, we see more it could be a 15 metre penalty, now the umpire a little bit leaning towards Collingwood that time out wide and there's a mark to Thompson, they're running wild, a hand pass coming over to Clark, there seems as though there's about 40 Essendon players out there, Van der Haar again has seven marks for the quarter. He's played a sensational game. No, they've still got McKeon on him. I just can't understand it. Well, they might be in a bit of trouble. Who can they pick? Uh, who can they place on him? Because uh, he's in such sensational form, Bob. Well, uh, have you ever heard of Phillips Lou? He's, well, uh, he's not doing anything where he's playing, so they've got nothing to lose. OK, we wait now for Van Der to fire at the goal. Three goals to Van Der Haar. And, of course, the Bombers now move on to eight goals, 149. The Collingwood, two goals, 416. Well, this is a disappointing display by Collingwood because we did think that they had a chance here today. But I suppose uh, you can't blame the fact that Reigns is out of the side. That wouldn't be their problem here at the moment. It's the way that the Bombers are going after the ball, really, isn't it? They're really attacking. Collingwood looking terribly slow. They're playing as a team, Lou. They're running down the ground. They're applying pressure to Collingwood. Pressure that Collingwood aren't able to apply to them. 33 points the difference at the 30-minute mark of the quarter. If you go four goals in, I think your money's looking pretty good at the moment. Picked up by Harvey, who replaced uh, Folds about five minutes ago. There will be a ball up just wide of the centre circle. <laughs> Collingwood fans a little bit stunned at the moment by the Zestendon onslaught. Duckworth having a little bit of uh, a problem handling the ball. Finally, it comes out to Harvey. Harvey's kick is a short one. Watson and Shaw. Socket away by Morwood. Hawker on centre wing. 
A little chip pass, and that's OK. It's taken by Terry Danaher. He's looking for a 15-metre penalty, but there was none there. Oh, here's Arts on his own. How easy can it get? There's the siren, I think, yes. Quarter time, and Izzard has a chance to put through Essendon's ninth goal. Izzard from right half forward, kicks it out of bounds on the full, and so at quarter time, the scores Essendon 8 1 49 to Collingwood 2 4 16 in a one sided preliminary final. We begin the second term out of VFL Park with Essendon leading 8-1 to 2-4, a difference of 33 points. Vanderhaar three goals and Baker three goals in the first quarter. The Bombers swing into attack up to Vanderhaar again. Can he take the mark? No, not on this occasion. Harvey went through pretty solidly but without the ball. Picked up by Ezard. Down towards full forward. Knocked into the arms of Harvey. Thank you very much. Harvey shoots a goal. Essendon nine goals, one. Will be in the grand final next week without any doubt at all. Collingwood two goals, four. Wonderful piece of play by Merritt. You're right, Lou. Uh, but uh, I do notice that Tony Shaw has been put into the centre of the ground and uh, Michael Taylor now picking up uh, Timmy Watson. Uh, but I suppose at this stage uh, you would have trouble whatever you did because everything that Essendon has done, uh, Shane Hurd onto Dacos. Dacos has had one touch only for the game. Uh, Thompson onto Gary Shaw. Gary Shaw has made some aluminium mistakes. 55 plays 16 now at BFL Park. A runaway performance by Essendon. It's a Collingwood free kick from centre field to Derek Shaw. Shaw puts the Magpies into attack. That's a rarity in the match today. Only two goals to their credit. And this guy's kicked them both. Roddy Andrews. He's doing a marvellous job down here, this fellow. He's, He's playing about... 100% football, Pete. It's a good example of some of his club mates who are just watching. Good pass, too. This time to Banks. Banks taking the mark in front of Walsh. He's about... 35 metres out from goal, we can see Fellows coming onto the ground now. And Derek Shaw going off. Now Dennis Banks, a chance for his first goal. Ball dropping a little bit short into the goal square. Matten tries to tap it, he gets it over and turn to Bradbury. Bradbury out wide. Barham is there, so too is Banks. Neither can take the grab. Down goes Abbott as he picked up by Walsh. Game number 50 for the Bombers today, and he's playing pretty well, isn't he? Out towards centre wing. McEward and Van der Haar. Van der Haar goes down, but it's picked up by Watson, who gets around Brown. Fires it out to Wizard at right half forward flank. He tries to get clear. The kick slews off the side of the boot. Baker's already kicked free. Spins beautifully. Shoots in towards full forward, but he's missed this one and put it through for a point. Missed the nine goals, two. To Collingwood, two goals for. A 40 point lead to uh, Essendon, and uh, things are looking very sick for the mighty Magpies. It's a, a lackluster job by Collingwood today as we see Richardson go for the mark. He's only had two kicks up to this stage. The match breaker goes for a pass to the all right. And Mark there, dead in front by Danaher. This is his sixth mark. And we see that Vanderhaar's had about seven or eight. They'd have nothing to lose, surely, by uh, swapping um, Phillips and McKeon under those circumstances. Nothing whatsoever. We're waiting now for uh, Terry Danaher from about uh, 20 metres out directly in front, going for goal number two. And that's what it is. Well, aren't they looking good? This is a disgraceful performance by Collingwood. The score, 10 goals, 2. 62 to Collingwood, 2 goals, 4. 16 is an old Collingwood player. I'm a bit ashamed to read that score, actually. It's on replay now. Seven's big league sees Baker having a picnic down there on the forward line, putting it across to Danaher. Danaher, Vanderhaar, Baker, well, you name it, Essendon are having a picnic. Three and a half minutes gone. And uh, the Bombers still going like, uh, let's say, like bombs as the ball comes out now to shore. It's a hurried kick out towards the wing position, but that's what they're doing with all their kicks. They're up balance every time they get the ball. Finally, it's Thompson going from us, and then we see the ball marked here by Danaher. Short pass, up high looking for Merritt. They all missed that one coming into meter this ball. Baker once again snaps a goal. It's going pretty close. And I think it'll be another goal to Baker. That's goal number four. And the Bombers move on to 11 goals, 2.68. To the Collingwood team, two goals, 4.60. And yes. what a bath they're getting. Our old mate Bob Davis would be happy to see Baker uh, playing out there. Well, yes, Bob's been a pretty severe critic of Baker, but by golly, he's certainly doing a great job here today, but he's had plenty of mates out there. Oh, well, he's getting so much latitude, he probably can't believe it. 68 plays 16. Yes, your eyes don't deceive you, John Cale. 
looking uh, understandably a little bit worried. What's that? 52 points. 42 points. 52 points the difference. Knocked down by Madden. Richardson, position number three only. Out to Taylor. The lane. This guy played a pretty good first quarter. In fact, I thought he was Collingwood's best player. He's gone for a pass, trying to find Banks. Walsh is right there with him. It's out of bounds, and the boundary throw in on centre wing. Four yes. marks to Banks too, Bob. He's battled his inside out down there under tremendous odds. Yes, but Walsh is with him every moment of the way. Madden and Derek Shaw. Shaw on the left. Neither gets an effective tap out. Bradbury, a oh, beautiful smother. Pinched by Richardson. He's gone for a pass. Down towards Ronnie Andrews. Mark number three. Andrews plays on. Oh, what pace. Andrews shoots at goal. Can he make it three? Oh, Ronnie's done it. What a great one-handed effort. A ball from Lou Richardson. Probably deserved. 3-4-22. He's kicked all of Collingwood's goals. They trail 11 to 68. That's all if, if there's one thing that might lift Collingwood, it's the performance of Andrews so far. And uh, Andrews, I'm sure, has something to prove to Kevin Sheedy in saying that I uh, should have been in last year's grand final. And uh, well, there's a real battle of pace, as you called it, Pete. Uh, Western and Andrews. Now, there's a real store gift job That's there. Right. 68 plays 22, a difference of 46 points in favour of Essendon. Three goals to Rod Andrews, a lone effort up forward for Collingwood. The umpire has found a free kick go to Essendon. It'll go to Harvey, who came on midway through the first term to replace uh, Folds. Van der Haar can't take this mark. Toomey back onto the ground. It rebounds to McEwen. McEwen out towards centre wing. Oh, great mark taken out there by Thompson. Thompson with the left foot pass. Not a good one. Mullane again, in my opinion, Collingwood's best player so far. 11 possessions, and that's not bad. Out to Neville Shaw. Couldn't complete the mark. Taylor seemingly got tripped up. The umpire says no free kick, and there will be a ball up at left half forward flank for Essendon. 46 points the difference. Duckworth uh, now on Andrews. And we, we're at the six and a half minute mark of this second quarter. Knocked out that time by Big Merritt. And uh, there could be a throw in. Yes, a throw in from that half forward flank position for Essendon about. 65 metres around from their goal. Duckworth and Andrew is having a great conversation. I was just thinking that, Pete. I was about to say exactly the same thing. I think it's, they're acting like it's a Sunday afternoon picnic. The down ball there. down there towards half forward. Knocked on beautifully by Danaher. Over to Clark. Back to Watson. A snap at goal. Up towards Vanderhaar. He's got the sit here. He's got the mark. Oh, what a game this fellow's played. That's his eighth mark for the match. And I think I've seen Vanderhaar play more effectively. He's going for goal number four. Surely now, Colin would have to make the move of Phillips and the McKeel. And they've got nothing to lose. Both players are being beaten. This is the flying Dutchman at his best. He fires at the goals from point blank range. That's another goal. Four. That's four goals to uh, Van der Haar. The score, Eston, 12 goals, 274. To Collingwood, three goals, 422. There's very little to say uh, at this stage of the game. Um, Did you say words fail you, Bob? <laughs> they really do. I, I just cannot understand it. Uh, you know, it's asking too much of McKeon. And uh, they've got nothing to lose because Danaher is beating Phillips. Van der Haar beating uh, McKeon. They've got nothing to lose by swapping the two players. Just on the eight-minute mark, and the difference now, 52 points in favour of Essendon. What a debacle here, and what a side this bomber mob look. They're looking terrific. But still, it's never over until the final siren. You never know, Collingwood could pull some miracle, some miracle out of the hat, but... Uh, you believe in fairies I too, do you? I do believe in fairies, Pete. Waiting for the centre bounce again. Well, it's up towards the Essendon centre-half forward position. Oh, there's nearly a push in the back to Fellows, and he'll take the free kick down there towards the centre-half back position for Colling. Fellows' first position, he came on only a few minutes ago. Out to Derek Shaw. Watson on his own. Harvey running with him. Baker on his own. Yes. And takes a good mark. Three marks, 12 possessions to Leon Baker. Timmy Watson telling him where to kick it, but I think he goes straight at the goals. Again in front of McEwen. How many times have we said that? That's nine marks. Our statistician is running out of fingers. Nine marks and it's only nine minutes gone in the second quarter. We could be looking at a record preliminary final score here this afternoon. Also in terms of goal kickers, Baker has four. Van der Haar going for his fifth. It looks pretty good from here. I'd say he's got five. He has. The flying Dutchman really alight. Essendon. Their score, 13-2-80, Collingwood 3-4-22. And Collingwood have finally made a move. Bob 
Stilton becoming a little bit sarcastic, but I must agree with you, Bob. Well, they're still a bit confused. I think McCormick's gone on to him now, but uh, Phillips was going down there, and now he realised he's got to go back to his man uh, down there at centre-half four. 80 plays 22 at VFL Park in the, not a boil over, but a bath. Phillips and Merritt having a bit of a jostle behind going to play. Well, at least to see there's a bit of sparkle somewhere in the Collingwood side. Certainly haven't seen much of it so far, apart from Roddy Andrews. Knocked away by Madden, tries to find Harvey, picked up by Dacos, who hasn't had a kick so far apart from a free kick. He's down again. Brown can't pick it up, fumbles, Merritt right after him. And umpire Rowan Soares has ruled that it will be a bounce at centre-half forward for Essendon. Collingwood Stars not shining today. Taylor tries to burrow through. And again, the umpire has decided on a bounce. Still, it's at a half forward. Ten and a half minutes gone in the second term. 80 players, 22. Essendon fans singing already. Well, they might. Getting in good voice for next week. Knocked down by Fellows to Dacos. Oh, that's pretty untidy. It's a Collingwood free kick. I'm glad he finally got out of that patch of earth. Would have been denuded of grass had it been there much longer. Dacos to take the free kick. I think that's only his second kick for the day. Both of them have been free kicks. Dacos from half back. Banks in front, he certainly tried so far. Walsh caught with the ball. Barham fires out a long hand pass. Diving on top of it is Ezard. Can't control it though. In goes Hawker. Once again we'll see a bounce. It's pretty well on centre wing. Baker four goals, Bender half five goals. And cuts Collingwood to ribbon so far. Knocked down by Matt, picked up by Harvey. A wobbly punt kick up towards centre wing and McEwen finally taking a mark. Seemingly playing on Danaher now, Bob. This is out at centre half back. Uh, Phillips on the merit, uh, virtually as a back pocket, and it's full back McCormick on Vanderhaar. McEwen up to Derek Shaw, and Derek Shaw has taken the mark. Good mark to Derek Shaw at centre half forward, about 55 metres out from goal. Collingwood trailing by 58 points. Just on the 12 minute mark of the second quarter. There's the kick uh, by uh, Derek Shaw. It's a high one. At the back is Andrews. Tapped the ball out. He couldn't hold that one. They pile up there and the umpire said play on. As he tries to crash through the back. He got one on the back that time, I'd reckon. Well, he did. But the umpire didn't play it. My golly, he's played a great game down there, Andrews. He set a fine example to his team. But that's not a one in the back. I've never seen one, Pete. Must agree with you, Lou. There's a ball up now, about 15 metres out from the Collingwood goal. Knocked out by Shaw. Dacos snaps at the goal, but it's not his day today, and it's through for one point. So it's uh, Collingwood getting a little closer. 57 points, the difference now. Waiting on uh, the ball to come back into play by Duckworth. Little short kick. Ronnie Andrews goes after. It's going to be a great race. He tried to leg him that time, but missed. Duckworth showing a lot of pace, or more pace than Andrews. That wouldn't be hard to do as the ball finally goes out to Weston at half back. Weston gets around his opponent nicely, shoots the ball there, but oh, Mark dropped by Taylor. Hand pass coming out that time from Banks. Neville Shaw goes for a pass. It's marked here by Richardson. And Richardson at half forward. Going for hand pass again. Oh, smothered that kick of Taylor. He should have kicked that. Uh, actually, Richardson should have kicked it. Down goes Merritt. A fumble by Watson. And they're going in pretty hard. They mean uh, business Essendon as they go after the ball again. And the umpire's going to ball it up out there on the centre wing position. We approach the 13 and a half minute mark of this, the second quarter. And the Bombers leading by 57 points. Now, this is one of the worst displays I've ever seen a Collingwood side put up. But then we can't take any credit away from us. They've played superb football. We see uh, streaking away as Ezra, but the umpire bringing it back. It'll be a free kick to Big Merritt out there on the centre wing position. His kick is over half forward. Chance for Fellow. Fly high that time uh, was uh, Vanderhaar. He's already taken nine marks. A hand pass from Taylor. Over to Shaw and finally out to Mullane there on the half back. But he's their best player by far as he goes for a short pass. It'll be OK and marked there by McMullen. McMullen's on the centre wing position but a heck of a way from goal. There could be a 15 metre penalty here as we get over the 14 minute mark of this second quarter. Collingwood still trailing by 57 points. Flying high as Banks. There's a great mark. Well I said Mullane but Banks has tried very hard too. Running on Banks from about 45 metres out on a pretty acute angle. Running on Banks. And 
to say that Collingwood need a go. There's a short pass coming up. It'll be all right. And once again, we see McMullen take the mark about 25 metres out from goal. What a pretty acute angle. a bit of a box on down there between Richardson and Clark. Now Andrews and the Duckworth are having a go. Well, they're two old sparring partners. They're mates. At, uh, they were mates. At least he's having a go. That's pretty important as far as Collingwood's concerned, Pete. Andrew's already signalling a go. Look at him. He's <laughs> just watching Richardson and Clark. We'll be interesting to see if, uh, if Richardson squares, if uh, Clark squares up. Has he got it? I think he's missed it, actually. And uh, Bill Duckworth gives Andrews the raspberry. Andrew says something back to him. Left have a microphone out there. It's 13-2 to 3-6. It would be nice to actually hear what the two of them are saying. A few bleeps, I think. Beautiful kick by Duckworth. Up towards centre wing. Abernathy, he's had a very quiet afternoon. But again, a lot of teammates would have put in the same category. Walker on centre wing. Up to half forward. Oh, yes, good mark. The two, he plays on and gets caught by Baker holding the ball. No. Oh, should have been. He played on for sure, Pete. Did he yes, was. he certainly did. Ball up at half forward. Make up your own mind on that. Here it is in replay. Now, good mark, and he plays on. Certainly does. A bounce. It favours Abernathy. His kick is smothered. Neville Shaw to Tony Shaw. He's dragged by Harvey. Umpire has found a free kick. On the shoulder is the adjudication. And Tony Shaw to take the free kick a little bit short of centre field. Collingwood badly needing some goals. That's the understatement of the year. On the shoulder, that could have been the big one. The umpire says no. Ball scooped out to Williams. Williams at half back. Goes towards centre wing. Plenty of Essendon players are there. Thompson nearly scored the mark, but away he goes. Thompson looking for a lead, but goes for the high kick. Looking for Big Madden at the back is Phillips. Oh, there's nearly a mark. Yes, it is a mark to McCormick. Collingwood defence is hopeless today, and they've been so good the last couple of weeks. A short pass to Tony Shaw, and he's got the mark. Or free kick. And Watson down, but he had the mark before he got on the scene. A quick hand pass coming over to Brown. The ball out wide towards the half forward line. A chance to bank the mark. He doesn't hesitate. He gets away from Walsh. He's looking for a lead up to uh, Andrews again, and Duckworth both positioning for to get the ball as the ball comes down out of Harvey. A hurried kick out towards the Hawker on that uh, half back line. He spins out of the pack, he's grabbed, but still breaks away that time from Banks. Goes for a short pass, it's a good one, marked here by Bradbury. And the Bombers go back into attack again. Flying high as Phillips, over the top of uh, Van Der Haar. He's paying it to Van Der Haar the mark. Yes, well, you must punch when you're in defence, uh, Lou, and uh, if you're behind, uh, a fatal mistake by Phillips, overconfidence. Waiting now for Van Der Haar. that's mark number 10. He's played a great uh, first half, but the umpire's called a 15-metre penalty here, I think. Otherwise, he's going to bring it back again. Now, he's going to bring it back for Van der Haar. We'll have that kick at uh, centre-half forward. 80 points, Essendon to Collingwood, 24. And we, approach, we, we are approaching the 18-minute mark of this uh, second quarter. We wait now for uh, Van der Haar. He can nearly kick it from here, too, the way he's playing. <laughs> I'm not kidding on that, Bob. He's in top form. There's the ball, up there towards the full forward position, Madden flies high, it's the deck, oh beautifully scouted out that time by uh, Baker, a snap at goal but he's off target and it goes through for one point. So it's Essendon, 13 goals, 3, how was that for kicking 81 points, to Collingwood, 3 goals, 6.24 and we're just over the 18 minute mark of this, the second quarter and Collingwood in plenty of trouble. Watson, there might be in more trouble here. Harvey from right half forward flank has gone for a long shot at goal. It's coming around, but not far enough. And through for one behind. Scoreboard, 13-4 to 3-6. 82 plays 24. As Gary Shaw comes back onto the ground, replacing Derek Shaw. Vanderhaar in front, Harvey behind. Harvey's kick is a short one. It rebounds out to Watson, who runs straight at the bar and drops the ball, surely. It will be a free kick to Barham. He did kick it though. He actually right? kicked that. Yes, but we don't know when the whistle went, do we? Well, he must have still kicked it. <laughs> Van der Haar, best on the ground. And that's why. Mark taken by Thompson. Van der Haar, five goals himself. Williams on his own now. Too easy, isn't it? And Williams about 20 metres out from goal with that. He's hit to score a goal, but should be able to kick his first here. Which he has 
done, I think, or has he just missed it? No, it's a goal. And Williams putting through his first goal, so Essendon go further ahead, 14-4-88 for 3-6-24. An unbelievable lack of defence by Collingwood there. They had four players on their own in the Essendon defence, and yet Williams is able to run from centre-half back and uh, just casually take the mark. And from there, he put through an easy goal, but uh, there were four Collingwood players not picking anybody up whatsoever. 64 points the difference, if my mat mathematics are correct, at the 20-minute mark of the quarter. That's only the second two, by the way. Belaine can't pick it up. Essendon skipper Terry Danaher can't. Up to Ezard at half-forward. Who shoots out a 20-metre hand pass. Thompson at right half-forward flank. Neville Shaw's attempted smother, not successful. Down towards full forward. McCormack is there, though, for Collingwood. Gets the run of the ball, trying to get clear of Baker. The hand pass is on to Taylor, who fumbles. Taylor to Brown, in trouble. He's almost checked by Ezard, but he gets clear. Brown kick up the centre wing. And it's out towards uh, the centre wing, but there's Danaher. At the back is Merritt. Merritt's got to pick it up. He stumbled, but still gets a hand pass out to Hawker. There's plenty of bombers scouting out all day here today. Up towards Matt. The ball hits the deck, going after his Taylor. It's on the boundary line. It's still a bit of a scrimmage there, and the umpire will ball it up about 60 metres out from the Eston goal. And there's uh, will be a throw in. 14 goals, 488. The Collingwood, three goals, 624. Neagle off the ground and falls on for rest. But it doesn't matter who comes on the ground now. They're going that easy. They could have about four off, and Collingwood still wouldn't keep up with them. Umpires, that'll be a free kick to Little Thompson. He takes the free kick out there on the centre wing position. Shoots it across the centre half four. There's Van der Haar again. Nearly grabbed that one. As the ball comes back to Phillips, taken away from him by Mullane. Over to Fellows. Fellows goes out wide to the uh, wing position, but there's no one there for Collingwood. This allows uh, Clark to go for a short pass. It'll be... Oh, Hawke has grabbed it. Too late on the scene was Abernathy. He's having a bad day today, too. He's only had three touches as the ball goes short. It'll be OK, and Timmy Watson getting away from his man to take an easy mark. But they're having a ball down there on the forward line. That Collingwood uh, defence is so loose, it's unbelievable. Van der Haar in the hands of the trainers behind play. Lewis Ezard comes off the behind you. We wait now for Timmy Watson. From about uh, 35 metres out, going for goal number two. There it is on its way. But it's off target through for one point. So the Bombers move on to 14-5-89. The Collingwood 3-6-24. Well, Van der Haar, sensational first half of the uh, Bombers. One of the best games we've seen him play since he joined the, the club. And he's certainly living up to that reputation as the Flying Dutch. When there's a short pass, it's OK, and it's marked here by Toomey. Out there towards the uh, Collingwood half back. Another short pass out to Mullane. Mullane and Foles go for this one. Good play on the part of Mullane. Thank heavens they got him playing there and Ronnie Andrews and Banks on the forward line. Richardson hardly sighted today. Gets around. He's a part of OK. Clark goes for a short pass. Oh, Gary Shaw overruns. That's about the third miss he's had today. Finally a hand pass from Thompson back to Gary Shaw. Now Bahajar's on the ground. He's grabbed twice, but it doesn't matter. Backing up as usual as uh, Merritt or one of the Eston players. Big fellows couldn't hold that mark. Madden falls on top of the ball and the umpire will ball it up about uh, 45 metres out from the Eston goal. We're just over the 23-minute mark and it's Eston 14 589 to Collingwood 3 goals, 624. And there's John Cale looking very, very grim. Couldn't look much grimmer. Then again, the scoreboard couldn't look much worse for them. 65 points the difference as we await a bounce as set a half forward for Essendon. 23 and a half minutes have gone only in the second quarter. Shouldn't be any problems getting out of the car park here tonight. I think most of the Collingwood fans would go home at half time. Picked up by Hawker. Hawker up to Watson. Watson's gone for a short pass down towards Van der Haar. He's just about got the mark. Couldn't take it. He plays on. Taylor's right there with him. The ball shoveled out of bounds and it will be a boundary throw in a right forward pocket for Essendon. Crowd a little bit quiet. Understandable. Knocked down by Fellows. Toomey's knock on. Intended to find Taylor. Couldn't do so. Harvey paddles it out of bounds. On the floor, that was kicked. So it's a free kick to Harvey. Harvey tapped it down onto the boot of the concrete player. They can't do a thing right, Pete. He'd call that a bit of bad luck. I think he, he tapped the ball back and it hit the boot of Taylor. Shot a goal by Harvey. He's probably kicked it through for a goal. He has. Oh, goodness me. Two goals to Harvey. Uh, he 
Hasn't got a grin from ear to ear. 15-5 to 3-6. Wait, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. That uh, is the saying here today. There's no doubt about that. One of the best performances we've seen the Bombers put up. But then again, one of the worst performances we've seen put up by a Collingwood side. Well, there's a beautiful shot by our cameraman. And uh, half he tapping the ball back into play. Almost no fault of Taylor's whatsoever. And then just to rub salt into the wounds. And uh, goes right through the centre. 71 points the difference. We approach the time on period of the second quarter. Knocked down by Fellows. Mahaja, that's the tallest man on the ground and the shortest. Mahaja's kick is a short one. In front of his Western, couldn't take the mark. Dacos. Mullane, easily Collingwood's best player. Ian Roddy Andrews with Banks, about the only three firing. Up to Gary Shaw. Bradbury's right there with him. Paddled further forward by Neville Shaw. He'll go for a hand pass to Abernathy, who's had a dirty day. Abernathy, only four kicks up the half forward, and the mark taken by Thompson. Well, that was a bad kick by Abernathy. Never looked at all as the ball goes back. That a fouls. A hand pass coming out for Hawker. They're all firing for the Bombers as the ball goes across the centre half forward. That's Banner. Oh, golly, did he jump that time? Phillips fumbled the ball. It comes out the rich, but he's too slow. He's made a lot of mistakes today, too, as it finally picked up uh, by uh, Williams. Running to an open goal and fired, but the little road was up target and through for one point. Well, the Collingwood stars of the last two matches, Richardson, Abernathy and uh, Dacos, I think they've had about uh, uh, 11 kicks between them. So they're really down the drain today. 15-6 plays, 3-6. And when you're a real champ, that's the time to lift your game when things are against the side. So the ball finally goes out there and a good mark taken by Harvey. Harvey with a short pass. Intercepted by uh, McEwen. Taps it down to Dacos out there in the back pocket. Well, he gets around uh, Danaher. Finally goes for the long kick out there looking for Banks at the back as Walsh goes for the mark. It's a great mark to walk. Short pass. Plenty of bombers. Danaher. This Collingwood defence has crumbled about uh, a quarter ago. It's fallen to pieces rapidly. Danaher's already kicked two goals, but everyone down that forward line seems to be kicking goals. Van Haas kicked five for the game and uh, Baker four. And I think uh, Watson's kicked uh, one. There's the kick on its way. Doesn't quite make the distance. The pack fly it hits the deck again and the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket position. Just on the 27-minute mark, it's Eston 15-6-96. I gully, I feel ashamed to read this score. Colling with three goals, 6-24. The ball back in the play again. Knocked out by Fellows. Not a good one. Chance now for Dacos to get a hand pass over to Taylor. Hardly been sighted too. He's made quite a few fumbles as the ball comes out to Phillips and Van Der Doesn't matter they put on Van Der Cleans them all up. Phillips a little slow to get rid of it. Goes for a hand pass. It comes towards the wing position. Hawker carts it over the line. And the ball is out of bounds up towards the centre wing position. Still the score. 96 plays uh, 24. A difference of what? 72 points. Well, we see uh, one of the Eston players up end at that time. I think it might have been heard from Shaw. The ball finally knocked out the Shaw again. His foot got in the way and the ball is out of bounds again. Still on the centre wing position. Ronnie Andrews has kicked their entire score of goal three, and that's a fantastic effort considering the amount of times the ball's been down for Collingwood forward line. Put out of position that time was Richardson. This allows Danaher to go for a short pass, looking for Big Madden in front of his McCormick. He overruns the ball. Now Madden's got a chance to tap it over to Watson. Watson's still there. He gets a hand pass back. Little Williams falls on top of the ball. They certainly won't let Collingwood get it, and the umpire will ball it up. Oh, playing a free kick. kick to McCormick. Holding the ball he played against Williams. He gets up limping. McCormack goes wide towards the other side. Harvey and Abernathy. And Abernathy, has he got the mark? It would appear not. The umpire will bounce it pretty well on centre wing. Time on being played in the second quarter. 28 and a half minutes gone. Not too far from half time. View of the scoreboard. Might be a good idea to make a cup of tea. Williams up to half forward. Richardson is there. Useful turn. Oh, shocking hand pass though. To me. Oh, goodness me, Taylor fumbles. It's left to Tony Shaw. And of course Bradbury is there. Up to Thompson. Not a practice game for uh, Estimate at the moment. Without as much pressure. Walker. Walker up the centre wing. Baker. Thompson. 
50. On to Gary Folds at half forward. Folds goes for the long kick. Trying to find Van der Haar. It's a real wrestle down there. Knocked away by Phillips. The umpire's found the free kick. And it's going to Phillips. As I said, it was a wrestle. He's decided to play it against Van der Haar. That's about the first thing he's done wrong all day. Let's look at it again. Well, that's a six of one, half a dozen of the other, as I'd see it. I wonder whether I'd call for a count if I was Collingwood Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I would too, but long ago. No mark paid there. Richardson looking for a free kick for holding the ball. The ball finally scooped into the open spaces, picked up by Baharja. His kick up to half forward. Baker marking in front of Toomey, decides to go for the hand pass to Watson, who shoots at goal. And Timmy Watson has put it through for his second. Essendon go further ahead. How easy is the preliminary final of 84 16 6 102 the bomber century coming up at the 30 minute mark of the second quarter Collingwood 3 6 24 well, it doesn't matter where you look uh, whichever Essendon player it is you seem to find a winner uh, all over the ground and uh, Timmy Watson and, uh, a great player for Essendon 165 games before today and uh, he is just cutting them to pieces the difference, 13 goals in favour of Essendon. Just over the 30-minute mark, the ball knocked out that time by Merritt. Down it goes again towards Watson. Is the umpire paying the mark? Yes, he is. And uh, Watson goes for a hand pass. They're doing it so easy now. Over to Clark. There's one coming up to Matt, and he's got it. Well, the Bombers looking like a champion side. And it makes you wonder the, the gap between fourth and fifth sides against the uh, two top sides, Eston and Hawthorne. They're so far ahead, it doesn't really matter. And that's been emphasised here today. There's the sire to end the second quarter. And the Bombers are sitting pretty. We wait now for Madden to have a shot at goal from about 35 metres out on a bit of an angle. There it is on its way. It'll be another goal. Yes, it is. So at half time. It's Essendon, 17-6, 108 for Collingwood, three goals, six. Very ashamedly, I say, 24 points. Second half of the match from VFL Park. Essendon leading by 84 points. It's the margin they lost the grand final by last year. Knocked down by Matt. Here they go again. Richardson's there, though. Scooped out, folds. High left foot kick up towards half forward. Might be a free kick downfield. That's how the umpire has seen it. Well, that's a sign of frustration. You start doing those things. They've been doing that since quarter time, Pete. Watson will take the free kick for Essendon. A little bit short of left half forward flank. Now he's giving it to Bahaja. Running into match practice, as Bob said. Now three Essendon players fumble. That's unusual. Toomey goes for the pass. Fellows and turn to Taylor from half back. Taylor's kick is long and high. Out towards centre wing. Madness there for Essendon. Can't take the mark. Juggled attempt. Picked up by Abernethy. Only five possessions for him today. Abernethy up towards half forward. Andrews uh, playing from behind. Knock on to Gary Shaw. A good shepherd by Andrews. Shaw's long shot bounces through. And the Collingwood fans at long last have something to cheer about. Four goals, 6.30. Essendon, 17, 6 108. Yes, well, uh, Gary Shaw, there was nobody between Gary Shaw and the goals uh, when he gained possession. On replay, we see Ronnie Andrews knock the ball away. And Gary Shaw, a long kick. And you can see how far even the Essendon defenders were away. And it ran through for a nice goal. Ron Andrews has kicked three goals himself and had a hand in that one. So Collingwood's four. Ron Andrews has had something to do with all of them. The umpire has found a free kick at centre field. There is a wrestle continuing. Tony Shaw's on top of I'm not sure who. Is it Madden? Clark has the ball meantime. Yes, it is Madden. Now McEwen puts him in a headlock. Now it's uh, Neville Shaw. Brotherly love. In the meantime, the free kick will be going Essendon's way. Who's got it? Walsh is giving it in turn up towards uh, Hurd. He goes for the long kick down towards centre half forward. It's a good safe mark taken by Toomey, and he'll find Tony Shaw the hand pass in turn over to Dacos. It was a shocker. A bad hand pass. A hand pass coming out now to Baharja. The ball's driven up there towards Dada, who's got the sit. McEwen goes down. Has the goal coming up. Another goal to Dada. That's his third. And of course, the Bombers move on to 18 goals, 6 114 to Collingwood, 4 goals, 6 30. Yes, well. Uh... Poor piece of play that time. 
once again by Collingwood. They had the opportunity, um, but with a poor use of handball, put themselves under pressure, and uh, Essen capitalising on just about every mistake that Collingwood have made. Well, we're approaching the three-minute mark, and the Bombers off to a great start in this third quarter. On replay from behind the goals, and another goal to Danaher, his third. Centre bounce again. It's Fellows against Matt. Knocked out by Fellows. Ball comes out there now to uh, McMullen. He goes down. The umpire still calling play on us. Neville Shaw gets the ball out. Finally, it's kicked down there towards Gary Shaw, but it bounces the wrong way. Picked up by... Oh, well tackled that time by Shaw. Bradbury couldn't get clear, and the umpire will ball this up as they stack him there. Out there on Collingwood's half-forward line. Well, Andrews uh, getting back to position there. He's already kicked three of their four goals, and he certainly hasn't left the side down. Knocked out by Matt, grabbed by Shaw. That's Neville Shaw, a short kick. Watson picks it up. Another hurried kick back towards the wing position, coming out to meet it as Fellows. Fellows and McCormick go down. Rich with a chance to get clear, but he can't break clear now. They pile on top of him, and uh, the umpire said it'll be a ball up out there on the centre wing position. Well, Richardson's been a star the last couple of weeks, but certainly can't break clear. He's only had four touches today. Up we go again. Knocked out by Essen. That time it was Vanderhaar getting it down. Nearly one on the back to Collingwood, and a free kick will go to Phillips. It hasn't been a great day for Phillips either, but still he's tried hard. The ball intercepted that time by uh, Taylor. Nearly messed it up for Tony Shaw, but he's clear. Goes to centre half back. He's still running the little rover. And finally drives the ball back there, but he's kicked it straight to Madden. What a shocking kick as we see Madden to take the ball there at centre-half back. Madden, one of the favourites for Monday night's Brownlow medal. The knock-on favours Richardson, who fires at a hand pass. Straight to Bradbury, who says thanks very much. Bradbury goes directly down the ground at the back of Phillips, though, to take the mark. And will get a 15-metre penalty against the Essendon captain, Terry Danaher. McEwen, I don't know what that really gained. to Fellows, a good intercept, Fellows looks for a free kick for one in the back but they really deserve to lose that Collingwood, Neville Shaw fumbling, Shaw on centre wing, gets dispossessed, out to Bahaja ultimately, to Watson, no pressure applied by the Collingwood players here, Vanderhaar, Williams threads his way through beautifully, Long kick by Williams up to the goal square. McCormack in front though. Has it knocked away by Merritt as he went for the second grab. And we'll see a boundary throw in left forward pocket for the Bombers. 70, no, 84. 84 points the difference. 14 goals, Pete. That's Doesn't sound that much when you say it quickly. Knocked down by Phillips. Picked up by McCormack. Kick is a short one, but it's okay. And the mark is taken there by Brown. Shrugs the tackle by Watson from right half-back flank. Brown, long kick, up to the point of the square, in front is Gary Shaw, can't take the mark. Big pack of players developing and the umpire has decided on a bounce. One commentator once said, was it 10 quick goals and they're back in it. And holds your breath, knocked down by Matt. No one breaking clear there. Dacos having a headlock on Bahaja. Collingwood star, not today though, comes up with the ball again a bounce, pretty well on centre wing Madden, too tall for Banks Abernethy and Neville Shaw are there, Neville Shaw fumbling again goodness me, they've done a lot of that today Collingwood Bahadur on the bottom of the pack the umpire I think has again decided on a bounce 14 goals the difference in favour of Aston over the six and a half minute mark of the third quarter ball, out of, oh, ball up out there on that half forward flank position from Collingwood knocked out by Madden Comes down to McMullen, he loses that, finally picked up by Shaw, a hand pass to Abernathy, but he can't do anything right today, and the ball is out of bounds. Still on Collingwood's half forward line, about 75 metres around from their goal. Ball back into play again. As Madden dominating the ruck as it comes back there towards Weston. Still plenty of fumbling going on, but there's plenty of players there, and the umpires found a free kick, it'll go out there to Hawker. And you can hardly find a weak player on the Eston side. Oh, there we see a free kick. I don't know what Barn was jumping up if, uh, before the ball even went near him. So there'll be a free kick going there to Big uh, Merritt round about the centre-half forward position. Oh, golly, did he get around Mullane easy that time? He's as big as a house. Punched away by McCormick. Not a good knockout, but it's finally picked up by Fellows. 
Bellows kick is a short one, comes to Barham and he takes the mark there at half back. Could be a 15 metre penalty. Yes, he's bringing Merritt back, so this puts Barham right on that half back flank position. Just on the eight minute mark of this third quarter. Oh, look at this kick, it's a shocker. They're just kicking anywhere, Colling, with an easy mark taken there by Weston. They're making uh, Essendon's job very easy as Thompson drives the ball down there, looking for Danaher. At the back is McEwen, couldn't get the run of the ball, finally picked up by Brown. It's a hurried kick back towards the centre of the ground. Big Madden tries to smother it, bounces the wrong way. And McMullen overruns the ball. This allows Walsh to get a hand pass out now, and we see the ball driven up there by Weston. There's a mark there coming up to Danaher, goes after it, couldn't grab it. It's Taylor coming out of the pack, and finally Tony Shaw to take the ball away from the danger zone. Short left halfback flank, he's gone wide out towards the boundary line, trying to find Richardson, he's got the mark, shrugs the tackle from Hawker, gets around him a second time, he's gone for a pass up to big Ronnie Andrews and chipping in beautifully to take the mark down there was Hurd. And Dacos decides to put a headlock on him, that's frustration for you. Hurd has gone for a pass, trying to find Madden, oh Shaw gets into his back, must be a free kick. Madden's done the block as well, but it's a play on Williams. Williams up towards half forward. He's gone for a pass. It's OK. Danner has the mark. Drops to Baker. Baker up towards full forward. The ball bouncing. It could bounce over the boundary line, and it does. Van der Haar coming off, Pete. Yes, he is uh, holding his arm, it would appear. Let's, here could be the incident. Let's see what happened there, Bob. He's already kicked five goals. Uh, right there, was it? From Toomey. Oh, looks as though it could be shoulder, Pete. Picked up by Brown. Brown's kick along the ground. Abernathy gets a favourable bounce, but he still fumbles. After Gary Shaw at the back. Knock away by Walsh. Banks is there. He certainly tried for Collingwood. Banks goes for the long kick down towards Ronnie Andrews. Duckworth right there with him, and Andrews, using that pace he's renowned for, takes the mark. He's kicked uh, three goals, and of course had a hand in the other one that he gave to Gary Shaw. Five marks to Ron Andrews as a big foul comes over the VFL Park Stadium. It's all the Magpies need now a downpour. I don't think it'll make much difference, Lou, really. And what's Andrews done with that? One behind. So, Andrews making the most of the opportunity there. 114 to 31 at VFL Park. Ball back into play. Taken by her... Uh, Hurd up towards centre wing. Danaher in front of McEwen. Tries to shrug him off. Not by not whistling him back 15 metres. The Eastman skipper going for a pass. Out towards the right half forward flank. Trying to find Merritt. Bahaja burrows his way through. Comes out with the hand pass. Not a particularly good one under pressure. The ball hustled towards the boundary line. It's picked up by Tony Shaw. Gets it back to Taylor. Another smother. Merritt well caught by Neville Shaw. A play on call. The ball rebounding to Bahaja. He'll give it to Harvey. Harvey... Up towards the 10 metre square, the ball rolling just too fast for McCormick and bounce through like a top spin lob for a goal. Ho -ho! He's kicked three, scoreboard in the preliminary final, 120 plays 31. Well, no matter what Colling will try, uh, just nothing can go right. Uh, uh, they have lifted their game as far as effort is concerned. They really are attempting to put a bit of pressure on, but uh, Essendon's so confident, they're just doing as they like and, uh, well, a great goal by Harvey, but good play by Little Bahaja. 11 and a half minutes gone now in the third quarter. And Essendon going right on with the job, 120 to 31. 89 points the difference in favour of the Bombers. The ball knocked out now, grabbed by up and out. He's upended the ball back there towards centre half four. There'll be a kick down the field. It'll go to Mullane. Collingwood players coming over there to go at Meagle. That's Richardson. Finally, Mullane goes for the long kick up there to Andrews and Duckworth. Both battling for position. Knocked out by Andrews. Chance for Dacos to get clear. Can't pick the ball up. He's got it in front of him now, but he lost it. And Duckworth takes it away. Back it goes to Harvey. Too high. Ricky Barham grabs it. He's grabbed. Well tackled by Harvey. In goes Ross. Down he goes. The umpire still calling play on. As we see Danaher go out over the top of the ball. Picked up by Andrews again. He won't give in Andrews. He's grabbing him left and right. Finally a hand pass from Neagle. Back to Harvey. Calling it at least showing a bit of spirit as Andrews has a wrestling match there. And the umpire going over now with him. And it'll be a mark to McEwen. At least they're showing a bit of spirit as the ball goes out wide to set a half forward. The mark taken here by Abernathy. 
at least uh, Andrews livens them up a bit. I must say, Collingwood are putting you know a lot more endeavour into their play, Lou. There's uh, Williams getting a hand pass back there to uh, Clark. Out wide to uh, Bradbury down there at half back. He's got a lot of pace and he gets away from his opponent. Back to Williams again. It'll go over to Bradbury right out there on the centre wing position. Goes for a pass looking for big merit. And he takes the mark in front of Phillips out there towards the Esmond half forward line. Still a good distance out from their goal. They're 89 points in front. And we're just over the 13 minute mark. Finally picked up by McMullen. McMullen's kick is over Collingwood's half forward on a chance for short of mark. In goes Duckworth. Goes the big punch and is successful. The ball back to Harvey. Well tackled that time by Barr. He's also Greg Park. A chance for Mullane. Collingwood's best player is a hand pass. Goes out to McMullen. A shot at goal. Ronnie Andrews with a chance for mark. It was that interference. No, the umpire said no. And it's through for one point. So it's 88 points the difference. And we're just over the 13 and a half minute mark of this third quarter. 19 6, 120. Uh, Essendon to Collingwood. Four goals, 8 32. Heard going for a run. A short pass ultimately, and that's okay. Hawker chips in to take the grab. Hawker from right half back flank puts the ball high towards centre wing. Mark taken out there by Thompson. Neville Shaw in hot pursuit. His uh, kicker short pass. Toomey. Scrag, Neville Shaw had it and then lost it, a hurried hand pass, rebounds to Baker, he pops McEwen, Baker, long hand pass, intercepting though for Collingwood as Phillips, gets around Baker, fires out the long hand uh, ball again. Danaher and Neville Shaw having a little dust up. Williams in the meantime, picks the ball up at half forward, he's gone for a pass Free to kick, Foles. Free kick going back to centre half back and Abernathy for Collingwood, the recipient. He gets a 15-metre penalty, which brings him just up towards the centre circle. Torpedo punt kick up towards the half-forward line. At the back is Dacos. Harvey, some soccer tactics, brings the ball into the open spaces, where it's picked up by Hawker, who's had a lot of kicks this quarter. Hawker out towards the boundary line. Thompson snares it just inside. For Hawker again, picks it up brilliantly. Isn't it running in twos and threes like Hawthorne do? Weston now. From defence, he's at right half forward, and of course remember last week he kicked the goal, but Collingwood threw Taylor, standing ground, Taylor taking the grab at half back. As the running game of Essendon has cut Collingwood to pieces today, they run the ball out of defence, in twos and threes right down the ground. Watson, Clark, beautiful long kick will be a score, it's a goal, it bounces through his first... And Essendon now, 20 goals, 6, 126, Collingwood, 4, 8, 32. And Will Clark has played a superb game today against Richardson. And uh, Madden thumping the ball down. Watson handling the ball beautifully. Quick hand pass across to Clark. And uh, Essendon now with folds at full forward. And uh, the game is such that Kevin Sheedy is able to rest players. 15 and a half minutes gone, 126 plays, 32 at VFL Park. Knocked down by Fellows, and then lost sight of the ball. Finally it's scooped out, Merritt is there, he gets slung. Socket off the ground by Abernethy, but Walsh is there for Cochran Essendon. Walsh chips it up towards Timmy Watson on centre wing. Walsh leading Brown, and Brown beats him to it. Brown now, no one tackling him, he can go long, he does. Up towards uh, Andrews, Collingwood's only effective forward really. There's a Collingwood player down, we'll pick him up in just a moment, but it's Duckworth streaming downfield. Gets Essendon well and truly out of the danger zone. In fact, puts them into attack. Danaher couldn't take the mark. Williams overruns the ball. Phillips right there with him. Ball ultimately paddled further forward. It uh, goes to Fellows, though. Fellows, a nice turn. It is Gary Shaw, I think, that's down there. But the Essendon defence standing firm and a good mark taken by Hawker. Stephen Phillips has some news for us on the bounce. Thank you, Peter. Paul Vanderhaar is in the Essendon rooms. He landed heavily on that left shoulder. Uh, the doctors had a good close look at him. He's still on the table, but the club seem to think that he would be available to go back on later. Well, we're just on the 17-minute mark. Uh, the difference now, 94 points in favour of uh, Essendon. The ball at that half-back flank position. And the ball finally driven out by Weston towards the wing. And a good mark taken here by Thompson. They've got a lot of good players here today. Running wild as the ball goes back there to Danaher. A hand pass coming over to Madden. Taps it on very smart to little Williams. Where are the Collingwood defenders? We see Williams go for a hand pass. Back to Bahaja. A hurried kick up there to watch the full forward position. In front is Toomey. Gets around two opponents. He was grabbed but finally got it out to Phillips. Another hand pass coming out there to Brown. 
The bat ball bounces okay for Brown out there at half back. A short pass to Richardson. Oh, he's having a dirty day today. The ball beats him that time completely. Finally picked up for Banks. Lucky he was there that time to save a little bit of face for Richardson as the ball finally goes out there towards that half back bank position. Coming in to meet it is uh, Duckworth, but it beats him and it's out of bounds about 60 or 70 metres around from the Collingwood goal. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Andrews in front. Knocked out that time by Walsh and still out of bounds about 70 metres around from the Collingwood goal. Eston uh, 20 goals, 6, 126 to Collingwood, 4, 8, 32. There we see Andrews getting the tap down, but no one's scouting out for Collingwood. Finally, it's Mullane dragging it along in front of him. A quick hand pass over to Brown. And Collingwood go deep into attack, but there's Duckworth coming into meeting. Barnes there also tries to tap it back to Neville Shaw, but it's out of bounds. This time it's about 30 metres around from the Collingwood goal. Still 94 points the difference as we approach the 18 and a half minute mark of this third quarter. Andrews going for goal number four. The umpire said it'll be a free kick. It'll go against Andrews. It'll go there to uh, Big Gam Merritt, I should imagine, down there in the back pocket position. Well, I must admit they're looking a little better this quarter. They are at least uh, having a go. Themselves, uh, you know, and, uh, you, you can't be critical of their endeavours in this quarter. But, uh, now at least putting some sort of pressure on Essendon. There's a short pass. The ball grabbed there by Weston. Runs to set a half back. Boots it out towards the wing position. Coming in to meet it now is Gary Fowles. Chased there by Phillips. Gets another hand pass over. Little Thompson juggles it pretty well. He went for another hand pass. It was a wild one. A chance here now for uh, Fowles to knock it back to William. But the ball is out of bounds. This time it's on the centre wing position. Right in front of the member stand. The difference still 94 points in favour of uh, Essendon. Grabbed by Fellows. Finally gets it to Dacos. A hand pass coming back to McMullen. Shows a bit of pace. Finally gets a hand pass back there to Banks. He still tried pretty hard, but he's had plenty of pressure put on him by Walsh. As we see Ricky Barham drive it up there towards Andrews and Duckworth, but it beats them both. And the ball is out of bounds about 30 metres around from the Collingwood goal. As we approach the 20-minute mark of this, the third quarter, and I bet the Collingwood players will please be pleased when this game's over, Pete, because it's been a real embarrassing show for them. Yes, there won't be an action next week, barring miracles. Harvey tries to paddle the ball further forward, not having any success. Kicked off the ground ultimately by Merritt up towards the half-back line. Scooped out ultimately to Richardson. He fumbles. Now he's got a second chance. Walsh goes in after him. Richardson still has the ball. Comes out again to Banks. Tries to get clear. Now he's successful. Quick left footer up towards full forward, but the umpire has blown the whistle. It will be a free kick. And it will be taken by Tony Shaw. It's a couple of times now, uh, Merv Neagle, uh, well, I, I think has uh, taken a gamble on not being there next week. <laughs> Good way to put it, Bob. Well, it's a bit silly considering the position of the game, Bob. I think it like is, like playing in the grand final, that's when you're setting yourself down. You just try to do the right thing, even up and kiss the umpire every time he gives a decision against you. Tony Shaw's kick dropping a little bit short. The ball fisted away from the pack. Now a chance for Barham as he races toward the forward pocket. Harvey in pursuit. Barham on the boundary line. He shoots up toward the scoring area. In the road is Merritt. Three Essendon players all there, Pete. They could have raffled it. Hawker. Looks for Danaher. And out of bounds. Becoming very dark here at VFL Park with that cloud we mentioned. It's well and truly with us now. As far as Collingwood is concerned, the cloud came over the game at about the three-minute mark of the first quarter when Baker kicked two goals. And that set the pattern right up. Knocked down by Merritt. Power has found a free kick. And it will be going to Tony Shaw again, I think. Tony Shaw to take the free kick for Collingwood at right half forward flank. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a drop of rain here early. It hasn't rained much in Melbourne this week, only once, and that was for four days. In front, Merritt takes the grab and uh, Roddy Andrews went the punch, but not successful. Well, we're doing everything today and getting away with it, isn't it? He went right across the goal, finds Duckworth. Duckworth running up from the back pocket, gets around Richardson. Harvey in front and Taylor. Neither can take the mark. Folds, paddles it forward. Barham's there for Collingwood. Gets the favourable bounce, picks it up OK, gets around Williams. Barham steadies, hooks it long, and will hook being the operative word. He has hooked it right out of bounds. 
The free kick will go Essendon's way. The recipient will be Merritt or Bradbury. It's going to Bradbury. Bradbury just up from right back pocket. His kick is not a long one either. The chances for Mullane and he takes a safe mark just inside the boundary line. The lane from right half forward flank. Must agree with Lou, Collingwood's best player. He certainly has tried right throughout the match to date. Oh, Andrews! Got a mime in the air. What a grab. Six marks to Rod Andrews. He's kicked three of Collingwood's goals. Here it is again. It's on replay. David will put it shoulder two before he flew up with the mark. And even Roger Merritt managed to smile after that one. Andrews from left forward pocket. What's he done with that? The weight on the goal umpire. He's kicked a point, so that's three goals, two to Ron Andrews today. 126 plays 33. And we're just over the 23 minute mark. And the difference, 93 points. At least the Bombers are not scoring goals. That's one uh, satisfaction as far as the Collingwood supporters are concerned. They don't need to, Lou. Duckworth in a bit of trouble trying to get around Andrews. Oh, he finally did pretty easily. I think Ronnie might be getting a bit tired. He's put a lot of effort into the day's match. And a great mark there to Danaher. The umpire's called play on a quick hand pass. That's the way they're thinking as the ball goes over there to Bahaja. Knocked away by Toomey. In it goes little Bahaja again. It comes out to Harvey. Here's a chance for a score for the uh, Bombers now. Up to Matt, and he got under that one. He and uh, McCormick go after it. Matt's right on his tail. He's got to pick it up. He does. Gets a hurried kick out wide towards Abernathy on his own. But it doesn't bounce right for him. And finally, good play on the part of Neagle. A hand pass coming over there from Baker. Back it goes now, and the ball driven up there by Danner, who up towards Madden flying high. was Ricky Barr on a great mark in defence. I think that wing's starting to freshen, Lou, and uh, that certainly won't make Collingwood happy because Essendon will have it in the final term. There's a short pass coming out there towards the wing position. It doesn't bounce right for Collingwood. A quick hand pass by Thompson over there to uh, Merritt. Merritt goes for a short pass. Coming out to meet it is Baker. Overruns the ball. Ricky Barham tried to crash through him that time, but he was well tackled by Baker. Grabbed that time was Richardson, but still manages to get a hand pass out to Barham. And Barham drives the ball back there towards the wing position, but no one there for Collingwood. And once again, Thompson takes the mark. A long hand pass over to Weston. He's starting to show pace now. That's how slowly Collingwood are going. Finally, the ball over the Eston a half forward line. Punched away by McCormick. Tapped on again. Picked up by Taleb. His hand pass is smothered. Knocked away by Clark. Again by Matt. There's a go for Williams to kick another goal. And I think he has. Yes, another goal to the Bombers. That's two to Williams. And the Bombers. Clark's down, Lou. Clark is down. He did a great piece of work there to knock that ball on. And uh, he really set that goal up. And uh, must have popped one as he did it. There's the score. 21 goals, 6, 132. Eston for Collingwood, 4 goals, 9, 33. On replay, we watch as we see Clark up high on. Pop one right in the mouth. Williams' the second goal. Right's being turned on at VFL Park, not surprising. And Neil Clark has been a very unfortunate player. He, uh, he's had uh, some, a couple of serious bouts of concussion uh, and uh, missed most of 1983 with a knee injury. And uh, Neil Clark does not look too good at the moment, but let's hope he's not seriously hurt. Club doctor coming out to have a look at him. He has played a superb game today, completely put Michael Richardson out of business and been an attacking player for Essendon himself. They are bringing and, uh, a stretcher out for him, Bob. I don't know whether he'll need it or not, but that will mean the game is delayed until the stretcher is off the ground. There's the incident right there. Let's watch it again from another angle. You can see it a bit easier there on that angle. And rain is falling to add to the misery of Collingwood and their supporters. And Stephen Phillips, who's down on the boundary, said it's pouring. Do you think it might uh, aid a few people leaving peace? I mode? reckon it was a system bump. I can recall certainly an expert on matters. Sick, uh, he was very serious at one stage, Lou. Uh, yeah, with an illness. Yes, and I think it was caused by a concussion. That's right, and, and it looked uh, as though he wouldn't play football again, and through sheer courage he bounced back, and by God, he's a very effective defender, Bob. One of the toughest players well, in the he, business. In this quarter, he had stopped being a defender, he had, uh, and that was the, you know, the great part about his play, he had completely put Richardson out of business and was so confident that he was becoming an attacking player and he really set that goal up and it was unfortunate that he popped that heavy knock to the head as he knocked that ball forward. Well, that's a bit of bad luck because uh, 
We, you know, it doesn't matter how tough the games are, no one likes to see any player, doesn't matter what side you're barrack for, Peter or no, Boss, right. to, be, uh, to be injured like that, to be carried off in the stretch. And let's hope that Clark will be okay. Of course, they've already lost one player in Vanderhaar with a suspected uh, shoulder injury. Well, he doesn't look too good there, young Clark. Let's hope that he can come good. His, his uh, replacement on the boundary is Ahmed Ezard. Not a bad sort of replacement, is he? Yeah, Neil Clark will be taken straight to the room. Stephen may have some information for us uh, quite soon, if not in this quarter, then at three-quarter time. Stephen, uh, any information on Clark? What's the word? Well, just as he's going off, Peter, he, he's not bleeding. He just uh, appeared to have been knocked out. He's got his eyes open. Uh, he looks very, very groggy indeed. He's being carried down into the rooms at the moment. Picked up by Phillips at right halfback flank. The problem is well caught by Harvey. That's just about holding the ball at the Taylor. Taylor and Williams tangle. Picked up by Brown. He gets offloaded by Neagle. Mahaja. A high kick up towards full forward. Out comes Big Madden. Can't complete the mark, though. Knock on by Folds. Toomey. Short kick along the ground. Didn't really achieve too much. Picked up by Danaher. The Essendon skipper. From right half forward. He hooks the ball back towards the centre half forward position. Mahaja late on the scene, but the mark is completed by Banks. Banks just short of centre half back. 132 plays 33, so 99 points the difference. Hawker went for the fist away. It's offloaded himself. Mullane to Tony Shaw. Looks it back up towards the centre wing position. McMullen can't control the ball in front of Bradbury. It's out of bounds and we'll see a boundary throw in. Time on being played in the third quarter. 29 minutes gone. Meriton Banks. Oh, hip away by Merritt. Picked up by Hurd. Ball bounding towards the boundary line. And in fact it traverses it before Morewood can get there. Once again it will be a boundary throw in between right centre wing and right half forward for Essendon. And the difference is 99 points. We approach the 29 and a half minute mark of this uh, third quarter. We finally see Morewood driving the ball back towards Collingwood's half forward. And they've got McEwen down there at half forward. Now I think Banks has gone into defence. And finally, uh, the ball driven out there towards Harvey by Thompson. He takes the mark around about the centre half forward position. I think Thompson's uh, played a great game, Lou. Yes, he has. This fellow's kicked uh, three goals up to this stage of the match. Final of the kick back up there towards the full forward position. Madden flies high. It comes down to Toomey. Gets a hurried kick out wide to Morwood. He can't claim that mark. He's grabbed by Bahaja. Can't get clear. There's plenty of fumbling going on. Williams on the butt of the pack. And the umpire will fall it up about 25 to 30 metres out uh, from the uh, Essendon goal. 99 points the difference. Just over the 30 minute mark of this third quarter. Wayne still tumbling down as the ball is kicked out by Banks, as I mentioned before, playing in defence now. Picked up nicely at half-back by Barham, a high kick out there towards the wing position. No one there for Collingwood as Merritt drops that mark, but it's pretty slippery now and kicked off the ground that time by McMullen. And it's up towards Collingwood's half-four line, about 75 metres around from their goal. 132 plays, 33. It'll be McEwen going for this knockout against uh, Merritt. 17 year old or against a veteran. Knocked out, finally picked up by Well Spins out of the pack. Nice, he's developed a pretty good defender as the siren goes to end the third quarter. And we see the Bombers 21 goals, 6 132 to Collingwood, 4 goals, 9 33. Final quarter of the 1984 preliminary final with Collingwood trailing by 99 points. Rain still falling here at VFL Park, and they've had four inches of it during the week. Banks gets clear and then gets caught. Abernathy's kick is a high one. Down towards half forward. Knocked away by Thompson, who's played a pretty good game. And so is this fellow, Mullane. Fires out a hand pass. Intended for Barham. It was too long for him. Barham butters up again. Picked up by Folds. Folds and turn up towards the centre wing position. It goes to Watson. He gets dispossessed very quickly. Williams comes in to help him out. The umpire calls play on. Williams does. He's been a very good player for Essendon too, the first rover. 22 possessions. Those stats speak for themselves. 
Well, Baker up ends an opponent pretty smartly. In goes Banks. The ball becoming very greasy at the moment to handle. Umpire Peter Cameron has found a free kick for pushing the back. It will go to Banks at centre half back. He's tried very hard to, Peter. Yes, he has. Certainly be in Collingwood's best three. Pretty hard to find good players after that, though. Richardson shrugs the tackle from Danaher. Kicks it high towards the boundary line. Knocked away from McEwen by Walsh. It's out of bounds and we'll see a throw in on centre wing. Still 99 points the difference at the one minute mark of the final term. Knocked down by Madden. Turned by Izzard. Picked up by Richardson. His kick is a high one and a short one into the open spaces. Thompson is there. Traps it well. Gathers it in front of him. Keeps the ball in play. Neville Shaw butters in to try and beat him to it. The umpire has decided on a bounce just inside the boundary line. The attendance this afternoon, 73,550. So I think that's about uh, 4,000 short of capacity. McEwen and Madden, won by McEwen, tries to get it to Neville Shaw. Successfully so. Good smother down there by Weston and the ball out of bounds. Shaw passing us. We should see some sunshine in just a couple of moments. Still light drizzle falling. Madden in front of McEwen, won by McEwen actually. And again we'll see a bounce. No, we won't. It's a free kick, says the umpire. And let's see who the recipient is going to be. It's going to be Shane Hurd. Hurd at left halfback flank. Played a great game last week and he's done the same today. Just over the two-minute mark of the last quarter. 99 points the difference in favour of Essen. There's a mark to Fellows. Fellows with the ball out there on the centre wing position. Well, all Collingwood can do in this quarter is save a bit of face as the ball goes across there towards centre half forward and a good mark there to Walsh. He's played a fine game, but he's had plenty of mates. Finally out there to foul. Looking there for Harvey, he's already kicked three goals. Phillips goes after it, he's in the front posse. Harvey won't give, give in, he finally gets the ball out now. Picked up by Little Williams, who's played a great game for the Bombers. Short pass there to Bahaj, a bit of tunnel ball there, went between his legs, kicked off the ground by Ezard. Out there towards uh, Baker, he goes down, picked up now by uh, Taylor, over to uh, Toomey, the kick is not a great one. Put his team under pressure there, well, Phillips knocked his own man down, that time bar. That's how badly they're going. That's what usually happens when you're having a bad trot, Bob. You can't do a thing right. Well, you kicked uh, miraculous goals when you're on top, but uh, nothing will go right for Collingwood at the moment. Yeah. There we see the interchange. McEwen going off and coming onto the ground for Collingwood is Derek Shaw. It'll be a ball up out there on that half-forward flank position for Essendon, about 75 metres out from their goal as we approach the three-and-a-half-minute mark. Picked up by Williams, that was a fresh air shot, but Bahar's there, Bahajar's there to back him up. He finally gets the, gets the ball up there towards the full forward position. Running over the ball, that time was Merritt. McCormick goes for a hand pass, but it's not a good one. Big Merritt knocks it again. But looking there for Danaher, but finally picked up by Abernathy. The kick high, it's putting uh, Tony Shaw under pressure. Neagle comes on the scene a bit late. If he keeps on doing that, he may not see the grand final been on the verge a couple of times today we see Richardson grabbed over the line and out of bounds. Well he certainly can't do a thing right and the umpire said it's out of bounds. He's kicked his boot further than the ball. And he hasn't that many kicks so he wouldn't have had much practice today this fellow would he? And Brad, Brad, he's Brad, he's <laughs> thrown it over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> he's an old Port Melbourne now the umpire boy coming up back. to talk to him. Excellent. Gets a caution. I think that might be a reportable offence too, Bob. I'm not quite sure. Exactly. I think Michael uh, Brian Taylor from uh, Richmond got reported for doing just that. Yes, could have been a bit lucky there. Favos has the ball at right half back. Hooks it toward the boundary line, going very close to it. And in fact, is that a mark to Derek Shaw or is it over? It's a boundary throw and Shaw hands one out to uh, Bradbury. And a free kick. <laughs> yeah. It was just a tap, but nevertheless a correct decision, I guess. Back to centre wing, Hurd, Hawker, Harvey, no, gets it knocked away by Morwood, finally Morwood soccers the ball clear up towards half forward, a chance to McMurrin, he fumbles, in goes Duckworth, I think I'd fumble if he was behind me, picked up by Harvey, down to half forward and the mark is taken down there by Phillips. Phillips a short pass, out to Morwood, who drops it, oh goodness me, Mark Collingwood making some mistakes today, I think they'd sort of forget about this, but what an atrocious hand pass, paddled out to Brown ultimately, Brown's kick is a high one, 
in front is Richardson. Hezard beats him easily. And soccers it off the ground into the open spaces. Wins applause from the Essendon fans. And we'll see a boundary throw. There's deserved applause there. Um, beat two of them. Young, but it was, he was giving away height, everything you name, and a wonderful effort by Young Hezard. Giving away everything except courage. He's got plenty of that. Knocked down by Madden. Picked up by Richardson. Richardson's kick up the centre wing. In goes Neagle, shows them how it's done. He's caught with the ball. Umpire says no free kick and we'll see a bounce at centre wing. 21-6 plays 4-9 at VFL Park. In fact, we've been playing nearly seven minutes and no score in the final quarter. Still 99 points the difference in favour of the Bombers. A ball up on the centre wing position. Knocked out by Matt. Walsh overran that run, finally picked up by Ricky Barr, who battled pretty hard all day too, as the ball finally goes back to Conniglet's half full of mine. Oh. Oh, they all stood there, actually Shaw was sh uh, shepherding off that time. That's given uh, Bradbury a clear go to get the ball up to Dano. He's played a fine game too, just about the best player on the ground, I would say. Out towards the wing position, getting away from his opponent, Taylor, as Williams to take the mark. He's not far behind uh, Danaher either for the honours here today as the ball goes out there to Big Merritt and to McCormick having a great battle, knocked on by Merritt. Back towards Toomey and Baker's finally carted over the line and out of bounds. So it's about 40 metres around from the Eston goal. Still 99 points the difference, no score in this quarter as yet. Approaching the seven and a half minute mark. Knocked out by Fellows. Once again, it's Williams. Hooking the ball back towards the full forward position. Coming in to take the mark as Abernath. No one there to uh, guard him. He goes for a hand pass. Picked up now down there in the back pocket by McCormick. Goes out wide looking for Mullane. But that's a good intercepted mark that time uh, by uh, Neagle. So Neagle quickly... Moves on to kick the ball up there towards the full forward position. Punched out by Phillip. Back to Abernathy again on the boundary line, but he can't do a thing right today either, and the ball is out of bounds. But he's had plenty of mates. 21 goals, 6 to Collingwood, 4 goals, 9. Ball back into play again. Finally it uh, hits the deck. Phillips loses it. Knocked out again by Bahaja. Finally comes back to Toomey. Walks nicely, then loses it. Kicks it off the ground. Bahaja kicks it back again. We finally see Morwood getting a hurried kick back there. Coming into meet at his banks. Couldn't quite get there, but he's grabbed by uh, Merritt. Well tackled. The umpire call play on as Neville Shaw finally gets a hand pass out there to uh, Brown. Brown's kick is out towards the wing position. There's Weston coming in. And grabbed by McMahon. It'll be a free kick to Weston. He was grabbed when he didn't have the ball. The umpire calls play on. Out to Walsh, who's caught. Richardson. Derek Shaw and Mullane. No teamwork there. Back to Richardson. Richardson from right half forward flank. He tries to centre the ball, and that's OK. Barton takes a grab in front of Billy Duckworth. High and long. And the ball knocked through by Hawker for one point. Well, there was only one Collingwood player down there with three Essen defenders. That was little Tony Shaw, uh, Bob. He was down there early. Uh, Barron took a little bit too long to get the ball forward. That was the first score of the final quarter, incidentally, and it came up at the nine-minute mark. So Collingwood outscoring Essendon for the first time in a quarter in this match. Abernathy's kick. Again, straight to Glenn Hawker. Over to Duckworth. Duckworth from the back pocket. We ask ourselves, are Collingwood so bad or are Essendon so good? Certainly sets up a great match next week. Oh, Andrews has been one of Collingwood's best three. Drops the mark onto Tony Shaw, gets around Bahaja. Shaw, where's that hand pass going? To Barham, or intended for him anyway. Barham, out in turn to Banks. Puts it towards the goal. It's not a bad sort of a shot, but off target, I fancy, at three for one point. The bang as John Cale shot himself. 132 to 35. Weston will bring the ball back into play. Ten minutes gone in the final term. Weston goes towards the outer side. Ball knocked out in turn to Phillips. And doing up on the forward line. He's gone for a pass, and that's OK. Tony Shaw takes the mark about 35 metres out from goal in front of Merv Neagle. Looking for a pass. No lead being made, so I think Shaw's going to go back and take the kick now. Now he's gone for a lead, or a pass to Neville Shaw, off the feet of McMullen, out of bounds on the floor, was it? And it will be that a free sums kick. sums the game up, please. Doesn't it, what, Bob? <laughs> and Weston will take the free kick for Essendon. Down there in the back pocket position, 
And the difference now is 97 points in favour of the Bombers. The ball out there. Oh, good mark to follow. At least since half-time, Bob Collingwood have uh, shown a bit more spirit. Short pass coming up here now. Oh, Mark dropped by Banks, but he's tried very hard today, so don't blame him, Collingwood fans, as the ball is smothered that time by Ezard. Back to Danaher, and Ezard showing a lot of pace, gets away from Morwood, goes for a pass, it's a beauty, and Timmy Watson takes the mark there at half forward. Another pass, and there's Williams with the mark now about uh, 45 metres out from goal. Well, he was going to... Andrews coming off the ground. I don't know what force. Kick three goals. And the kick by... Uh, Williams, there's the kick on its way. It's a long kick. Is it through? It's through for a goal. Another one to the Bombers. So they move on now to 22 goals, 6, 138. To Collingwood, four goals, 11, 35. Well, I certainly wouldn't have taken Ron Andrews off. Uh, well, he may one. have uh, maybe tied or something. I don't know what. I don't think he'd be yet dragged off the ground, uh, Bob. I can't think of any other reason well, why he's be, off. Well, it'd be a bit silly to do that because he's the only forward they've had. He and Banks have tried their insides out. I must admit, uh, Duckworth, once again, has been uh, superb. And uh, since he's going on to Andrews, I think Andrews has only kicked one goal against Duckworth. But he did miss a couple in that uh, third quarter. 103 points the difference. There's the ball back to Shaw. Not a good kick. It's marked here by Hawker, but the umpire waves. Play on as the ball goes over the bomber half forward line. Chance for Williams to mark. McCormick over the top of him. Finally picked up by Taylor. Taylor goes for a short pass and a mark there to Tony Shaw. He's just about slung off his feet that time by Needle. Another short pass coming up out wide to Mullane. It bounces OK for him. And Mullane, no doubt Collingwood's best player, gives a good hand pass there to Richardson. He's in a bit of trouble. Gives another hand pass, putting Banks under a bit of pressure. But Banks gets around two opponents. Another hand pass coming over. There was a bad hand pass by Banks. He certainly made it very difficult that time for Abernett. They pounce on top. That's Walsh going for him. And the umpire said it's in the back. So that'll be a free kick going there to Abernethy. Right on the point of the square, round right about the half-forward flank position. Beagle standing on the mark. Abernethy's kick dropping a little bit short. Allows the Collingwood, uh, puts the Collingwood forwards under plenty of pressure. Walsh tries to crash his way through, gets it to Bahaja. Bahaja and turn a pass out to Gary Folds. Folds and turn, likewise a pass, it's out wide. Phillips racing for it. Two Essendon players collide. Williams and Bradbury allows Phillips a chance to make amends. Bradbury's still hot on his hammer. Taylor comes in to back him up. The ball may beat all of them over the boundary line. And in fact it has. It will be a boundary throw in on centre wick. 103 points the difference, and that's the biggest margin ever in a preliminary final. Pete, if you wonder what sort of job Shane Hurd has done, Peter Dacos had four kicks to half time and has not had a kick in this half. He played a good game too last week, didn't he, Bob? Not spectacular in himself, but certainly a great stopper. Put Green out of business last week, Pete. Yes, and he'll probably mind him again next week too. Morewood, out to Malay. Who considers him the best three on the ground? To Banks. Certainly been Collingwood's best player. I won't argue with him on that score. Up towards full forward, and there's Duckworth. And he decides to play on. Duckworth now towards the right half-back flank for Eston. Lands at just about a metre inside the boundary line. And so we'll see a throw in just adjacent to the small scoreboard. Well, there won't be any trouble getting away from the ground tonight because half the crowd's already gone. Walsh and Derek Shaw. Someone got one in the face down there. It's Williams, I think. He gets a free kick for it. Been a very good player. 27 possessions. Certainly put him in my best three for Essendon. Brown, well tackled by Ezard, and a wild hand pass is taken by Abernathy. Shrugs one tackle. A high kick towards the centre half forward position. A bit of jostling there, not seen by the umpire. Picked out by Richardson. Richardson goes with the left footer up towards full forward. McEwen knocked away by Duckworth. Oh, Barham went for a shot off the ground. Missed it. Duckworth shot off the ground is OK. Back to Tony Shaw. A good shepherd by McEwen. Shaw has a shot at goal, and I think he's put it through. He has. And listen to the jeers, the Bronx cheer from the Essendon crowd, 22-6 to 5-11. That's all you 
could never deny the efforts of Tony Shaw. Lou, we, uh, we watch on replay, it's kicked off the ground by Duckworth. He was hoping on Shaw to put it wider. And uh, Tony Shaw there and uh, snapping truly. And uh, he, although hasn't played the normal Tony Shaw game, is still in there trying not to out. Certainly is, Bob. 15 and a half minutes gone in the final quarter. 138 to 41. Williams up to half forward again. And the mark is taken down there by Taylor. Taylor goes out wide. He's the acting captain today. Now towards Phillips, and Phillips takes the mark at right half back. 97 points the difference at the 16 minute mark of the last quarter. The ball back there, and Neagle takes the mark on the centre wing position. Well, even though they've been thrashed, at least they're showing a bit more spirit uh, since half-time, Collingwood. Haven't been in the event. That's a bad kick by Neagle. An easy mark taken there by Neville Shaw. Neville Shaw goes right across the ground. A ball taken here now by Brown at half-back. Goes for another pass. Oh, it's a shocker. That mark there by Waltz. Waltz's kick is a hurried one down there towards the centre-half forward position, but Phillips in the way. Well, if you've just tuned in, Collingwood not playing that bad. Uh, uh, well, I think that the Bombers have just had a bit of a uh, bit of a rest. That's the understatement of the year, mate. Well, a lot of people may have thought that <laughs> Collingwood are going well, but the ball finally driven over the half forward line. A chance for Duckworth at the back goes the punch, picked up by Williams. He's had a million kicks today as the ball goes back. I think that's about his 28th possession. Up there to Watson, knocked away by Phillips. It hits the deck. Finally coming into mid now is uh, Toomey. In a bit of trouble, gets a hand pass back to Abernathy. He's kicked his back towards the half-forward line. In goes Weston, and he takes a mark. And down goes Richardson. Spent a bit of time on the ground today as the short pass goes to Thompson. Thompson boots the ball across to uh, the centre-half-forward position. There's Danaher on his own. Left unattended that time by Moore. Twelve marks to Danaher. Goes for a short pass, it's a good one, but he always puts the ball to the side's advantage. And he's a great captain, a very inspiring player, and a champion. And Bahaja with the ball now about 35 metres out. On a very slight angle, and uh, could put his first goal on the ball. Tony Bahaja going for the Bombers' 23rd goal. There it is on its way, and it's a pretty good kick, and the little fella shredded it through the middle. So it's 23 goals, 6, 144 rest of the calling with 5, 11, 41. And Tony Bahaja um, has been a wonderful player since coming across from East Fremantle and a lot of people are suggesting that he may go back there again next year. And uh, whether or not uh, this could be uh, Tony Bahaja's uh, last or second last game in VFL football, only time will tell. I think they've got to play him in the grand final too because he's the sort of player that will do well against the ruggedness of Hawthorne too, Bob. So I think so, Luke. Well, there he is on screen, little Tony Bahaja. A little budgie, they call him out Windy Hill Way. 103 points, the difference. The biggest ever winning margin in the preliminary final last year. It was also Essendon. They won by 86. They'll break that record this year. 103 points, the difference in favour of the Bombers. We wait for the centre bounce. It's Fellows against Walsh. They're giving everybody a run the ruck. Essendon, they don't care now as we see the ball driven back by Thompson. He's played a pretty good game today. Finally picked up by Abernathy. He's picked up a few kicks since half-time. And uh, we see the mark taken there by Banks at half forward. Ready to send the Magpies back into attack. Have they got anyone down there to take the mark? Short pass. It'll be OK. And there's Malay. No doubt their best player. Malay at right half forward. Gone for a pass. And that uh, player down there, McMullen, was minded by four Essendon players. Bradbury picks the ball out of bounds on the full. That's the first mistake he's made today. And when he picked up the ball and ran, three players ran with him. So Essendon copying Hawthorne style, running the ball out of the fence. But it's Collingwood now through Abernathy that swing back into attack. Walsh in front, can't complete the mark, should have taken that one. Neville Shaw, hotly pursued by Ezard, a wild hand pass under pressure. The chance is for Gary Foles, and he makes the most of it. Chips the ball out towards Harvey, who takes the grab at right half back in front of Barrow. Harvey up towards centre wing, looking for Danaher. Can't take mark number 12. Richardson overruns the ball, had a dirty day. Heard, Danaher, Watson, and Brown. One by Watson. Now he'll go for a run. He likes doing this, and there's no one chasing him. Watson up towards full forward, and Madden one handed, can't take the mark. Chance to make amends. Toomey's there, well tackled by Clark. That's just about holding the ball. And we'll see a ball up about 10 metres out from goal. Oh, oh, oh. 
Clark there, and Clark, I believe, is back on the bench. So that's good news for Essendon. He got a very heavy knock earlier in the quarter. Baker couldn't get clear. Clark has found a free kick. Might be against Bahaja. Well, you wouldn't want to be the comedian at the Collingwood Social Club tonight, would you, Pete? <laughs> no. You're going down, Lou. <laughs> I'm staying Picked away. Up by Richardson. <laughs> Richardson trying to get clear and around three players. He's kicked the ball high and the mark almost taken by Williams, but the umpire says it was a push in the back against Peter McCormack. So to borrow a phrase of lose, when you're hot, you're hot, and when you're not, you're not. And look at this, but there's no doubt about that. That was in the back. But how many times we've seen that happen, Bob, even though they're so far in front when you're kicking across goal, it's fatal, isn't it? Williams. The basics have never changed, Lou. No, Brings up his fourth never. goal. Four goals to Williams, and Essendon score now 24-6, 150. Collingwood 5-11-41, a difference of 109 points. Yes. Well, we're just on the 21 and a half minute mark, and uh, they're looking really uh, good. Well, they looked a good side. I think Bob might have summed it up, or Peter may have said it, that uh, are the Bombers that good or Collingwood that bad? It's pretty hard to work it out, Pete. Well, Hawthorne players watching this afternoon would be very impressed, impressed by Essendon's display. Centre bounce. Knocked out or grabbed by Fellows. Back to Richardson. Well tackled by Harvey. Pulls him to the ground. The umpire said holding the ball against him. So the free kick to go to Harvey at centre field. Goes for the long kick up there. Up towards the full forward position. Toomey comes in and takes a nice mark. Toomey's done defense. well since half time against well, He's played a fair game. Tried very hard. The ball falls short. There's a mark to bowl. Bowles is out there at half forward with about 70 odd metres out from goal. 150 plays, 41. A difference of 109 points. Oh, a fumble that time by Phillips. The ball finally kicked off the ground by Toomey. Abernethy fumbles. It's pretty slippery out there. Richardson's grabbed by Bahajo. Goes down again. Finally the players pile it. Picked up by Bahajo. A hurried kick at the goal by Watson. It won't make the distance of Mark there in the goal square by Brown. Short pass coming up there. Oh, it's a difficult one for Banks. He slipped over. The ball comes back to Taylor. He couldn't pick it up. Picked up by Brown. Gets a hurried kick back there towards Banks again. Doesn't fumble. That one goes for pass. It'll be OK and marked here by Tony Shaw at centre-half back. Fellows fumble that one. Now Richardson's turn to get a hurried kick back towards the centre of the ground. But once again, we see Weston coming in to take the mark at centre field. Weston goes for the hand pass. Picked up by Neagle. Neagle long up towards their centre half forward position. Oh, Harvey, just about a miraculous mark. Danaher, short kick off the ground. Morewood gets offloaded. Harvey's hurt from that one. Yeah, he doesn't look too good. A shot at goal in the meantime. By Ezard is through, I think. Yes, it is. I think he landed on his head, Bob, too. I think he may have. He really came down heavy. It was a courageous effort by young Harvey. 156 to 41. It shook him up a lot, but I think uh, he'll be OK. He's getting he to his feet okay. now, which is good news. And certainly... Let's watch this in replay. And Harvey just about Whoa. taking the mark. Whoa. He's landed on his back, just winded, I would say. Just. <laughs> I think he knocked his nut at the back. That's where it shakes you up a bit, Pete. I guess he can be thankful that we had a lot of rain at BFL Park. Had it been a bit harder, he might have hurt himself even more. I think the good news, too, that we heard from Eston's point of view, that Clark seems to be OK. 156 to 41. That's 115 points in favour of Essendon. They'll be in the grand final next week. Harvey back on his feet as Taylor takes the mark at centre half back. Taylor brings it out towards centre wing. He's trying to find out there Mullane. It's one from Ezard for his trouble and he'll take the free kick. Mullane at right centre wing. It's about a 15 metre penalty. Trying to find Derek Shaw. Knocked away by Big Merritt. Picked up uh, by Bahaja. Now it's out to Bradbury. Bradbury short one up towards Danaher. And that's about a dozen marks to the Essendon skipper. He's gone for a pass in board. That's OK. He finds Thompson. Thompson on the run at half forward. Tries to get around Toomey. Gets it in turn over to Baker. Back to Thompson. Runs into trouble though. Madden on to Baker. Baker shoots at goal. And he's put it through for a goal. And that's five goals to Baker. He kicked three in about the first ten minutes of the first quarter. 162 plays 41. And the difference, 121 points, just on the 25-minute mark as we watch that again in replay. Baker gives it across now to Thompson. The hand pass smothered. Madden gets it back to Baker. And uh, the lovely disposal, Baker. Certainly doesn't need many opportunities. He's had numerous chances today. At the centre bounce. Into the time-on period by about 20 seconds. 
It's 162 plays, 41. The Magpies will be pleased when this game's over. As we see Neagle try to crash through the pack, but finally kicks it over towards Danaher. Kicked off the ground again by Bahaja. Coming out towards the wing position. Going after it now is Mullane. Still trying his hardest. He's played a fine game for the Magpies today. Finally round towards Collingwood's half. Four, not getting up before acceptance. The time was Derek Shaw. And it'll be a free kick to Merritt. Short pass. OK, and the ball marked by Foles. Back to Hawker. Not a weak player on the Eston side as we see Walsh grab the ball. Finally it goes over now to Wezar. That's a high kick. It actually went off the side of the boot that time. Out towards the forward pocket position for Eston. It'll beat them all and out of bounds. So it's out of bounds about uh, 35 uh, metres around from the goal. 162 Eston to Collingwood, 41. Well, I can't recall Collingwood putting up a worse performance than this one. But then again, the Bombers have been terrific. And can they keep it up for next week against the Mighty Hawks? The ball hooked back that time again by Ezard. Grabbed by McCormick. A short pass coming over to Abernathy. Oh, it looks as though he could lose this one. But he finally gets a hand pass out there to Phillips. Little short of half back. Now it's Richardson's turn to take the ball at half back. A long hand pass to Tony Shaw. He's been a battler all day too. Not so outstanding, but he's tried very hard as he finally gets it over to Brown. Brown goes for the long kick up there towards McEwen. In front, nearly grabbed the mark. The umpire says play on us. Duckworth first to recover. Good play on the part of Duckworth as he gets it over to Weston. Out it goes towards Foles. Foles and Baum having a great battle there. Foles uh, still won't give him. Neither will Baum. And the ball is finally tapped out of bounds. Still on Collingwood's half forward line, about 75 metres around from their goal. 26 goals, 6, 162 Essendon. The Collingwood, 5 goals, 11.41. As we approach the 27 and a half minute mark of this, the last quarter. And the Bombers will be in the grand final against Hawthorne. Bahaja with a beautiful pass has found Baker. And Baker's already kicked 5 goals. Another short pass to Williams. Just about the best player on the ground. And a million kicks. Another long kick by Williams. Up there to Matt. Couldn't hold the mark. Danaher comes in. Grabbed by Phillip. But still tries to get the ball on. Kicked off the ground that time by McCormick. And it's out of bounds. About 30 metres around from the Eston goal. 26 goals. 6. 162 the Bombers. The Collingwood. 5 goals. 11. 41 at the 28 minute mark of this last quarter. Collingwood fans, I'm sure, Lou, hoping that it will not be a very long quarter. And, uh... But at least since half time, at uh, half time we saw an 84 point margin and uh, Collingwood have applied some pressure but uh, Essendon have done what they like as it's Baker now after it's smothered off the boot and Baker's going goalward with goal number six to Leon Baker and a very successful move by Kevin Sheedy. Uh, Baker selected in the centre, shifted to the forward pocket and six goals. A very happy Leon Baker as we watch on replay. It's Seven's big league. The ball smothered off the boot of Tim Watson and Baker once again, making no mistake. Six goals to Baker, five to Paul Vanderhaar, and uh, again on replay, it's Baker putting the ball through. Centre bounce. Walsh now in the ruck for Essendon. Doesn't quite take it, got a push in the back. Ezard comes in. Gets it back towards Walsh. Walsh a quick hand pass to Bahaja. He has plenty of time to steady. Puts a beautiful pass out to Watson who'll play on immediately. Watson goes for the short pass. Harvey there. And it's good to see Harvey as the siren goes. Harvey who went for Mark only about five meters, minutes ago. Came down heavily. And with the scoreboard saying 168 to 41. Harvey will attempt to kick goal number four personally. Harvey lines up. Four goals to Harvey. Great win to Weston going into the grand final for 1984. Their final scores here at VFL Park. The Bombers winning very convincingly. 28 goals, 6-174 to Collingwood. Five goals, 11-41.